Ladies and gentlemen. You know what today is. It's the return to the mod that brought you here. The mod that all Halo creators thirst for. Ultimate Forge. Yo. Wait. Yo. It's your boy. Back at it again. I hope y'all are ready. Today is gonna be a crazy stream. Crazy. You're not even ready for how crazy this stream is gonna be, honestly. But you best prepare yourself because what we're doing today is the return to the absolutely phenomenal Ultimate Forge mod where, yes, this is in fact the same place we made the Halo 2 Scarab all those days ago. Today, however, we are going a little bit out of the mod tools. We're going to find ourselves traveling deep into the oasis of actually launching the Master Chief Collection for the first time in two weeks because we need to play some multiplayer with Green Knight today, test out all this fun stuff, make some forge maps using all of the badass forge pieces this mod offers, and then later, potentially, if we get some cool people who are making cool maps over on Discord using this mod, then you bet your ass we're gonna play those maps. I went through all the effort of making every vehicle destructible today. They don't have cool effects and stuff when you blow them up, but you could you could shoot the longsword and the pelican and the condor, and they'll just go and blow up super violently, and uh, should hopefully kill the driver too, and give you some Slayer points. But that being said, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a pretty fun stream today. It's gonna be loud. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of people because you know we're gonna be doing some multiplayer tests. Uh, but overall, it'll be pretty good. Am I gonna be doing multiplayer with patrons? Yeah. So here's the deal. All right, uh, I just put out a version of the map. Um, I sent it in to the chat of the testers, who also just happen to be patrons. And if it gets tested, and it turns out there are no bugs that cause you to crash violently. I'm gonna go post it in my Discord server, and you guys watching, yes, you right now, can play this early, unfinished version of the mod. Yeah, that's right, you could be playing exactly this mod today. At least this crappy, unfinished version of it. But just know this! This mod is a work in progress. Your maps will break prior to release. Thank you for understanding. Subscribe with the notification bell. Now, like I said, obviously you will probably have the chance to uh, play this mod and mess around with it, but keep in mind, this is very unfinished. All right, I'm gonna be developing this mod on stream for a lot longer, and I don't want you to play this mod and go, ah, oh, gosh, jeez, ah, oh, heck, I'm disappointed. Some of the vehicles don't work right, and, and the forge pieces need some fixing, and etc., etc. and my maps are gonna break, so keep all that in mind. Realistically, I'm gonna be honest, I don't even wanna release it yet. But, if I'm getting some people to test it, it's only fair that everybody gets to test it. That being said, I found out today, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, allergies. I found out today that my chair has boost. Check this out. <laughs> Speed. Momentum. Speed, look at this, I didn't even, I didn't mean to add boost. Woo! Ah. This is so epic. All right. Sorry, it's ya boy. Also, my music is louder than the super chat notification sound. Is it? Let me see, alert box. Alert box. How loud is your sound? Uh, you know what? I actually haven't heard the alerts uh, box again uh, in a little while. Um, but Demon, I, I'm almost missing out on your super chats. Thank you for that five or a minute ago. Oh look, something worth the money, JK. Yeah, 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 JK, but not JK. I, I read you loud and clear. Demon, again with the fiber though. Gotta love the Source Engine missing texture also. 
Your music is louder. Yeah, okay. Music is louder than the super chat. Um, uh, notification sound. Roger that. Um, that is probably true. Let me turn it down a little bit. I know it's weird and off brand. Listening to Halo Reach music while in a Halo 3 Forge mod. Weird. Weird. That being said, I'm going to launch up MCC now. Uh, Green, if you are around, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna launch up MCC right now. All right, close the mod tools, save a little bit on performance. Let's fucking do this. Let's fucking go. You're here? Okay, cool. Closing Blender, I'm closing mod tools, I'm closing all my extra folders, let's get MCC loaded. Yeah, uh, the one thing you don't get with this mod, by the way, when it releases later, or when a version of it releases later, is uh, the gaming chair. Unfortunately, you do not get the gaming chair. Sorry, that's exclusive content to me. That's my gaming chair, okay? I just, it's just, you know, I don't think that you guys are highbrow enough to understand that how important it is. Uh, so, you know, I just don't expect you to be able to just handle something uh, that intense. Linda, the Kitsune in chat, please. I don't know what the drama is that's going on, but I would appreciate it if it was handled outside of stream chat. That would be absolutely phenomenal. Demon with the two! How much for the chair? Oh, wait, let me go full screen gameplay. Yeah. Where's MCC? There we go. All right, everybody. We're actually in MCC for the first time in like a thousand years. Demon with the two. You asked how much for the chair? Uh, One million dollars, AKA it's priceless. Nobody can take the chair from me. I own it and it's beautiful. Announce the stream on Discord. Kai, you're absolutely right. I don't know how I screwed this up. You know, sometimes... Oh, I almost accidentally ended the stream. Whoopsies. That would have been bad. Let's announce the stream on Discord and uh, give me one second, Green. I'll give you a call. Um, don't want to just sit there and type for a minute while we're chatting. Watch as gamers make cool forge parentheses epic. 100, 1,000 times. All right, there we go. There we go, okay. The announcement is out. All right, let me give you a call, Green. And let me turn this Halo Reach music to uh, something a little more relaxing. Just uh, <laughs> something a little relaxing for us all here to just enjoy and to play a little bit of Halo too. You know how it is. <laughs> of course, it immediately starts with a flood song. We love that. Mr. Green Yo. Knight. What's up? Why do you sound so different? What the fuck? I plugged in my good mic. <laughs> what? You sound like a completely different person. This is not right. You're like an alien or something. What have you done with the actual green? I'm not using the crappy headset mic. <laughs> but people have Bruh. told me that this mic makes no difference. What are they talking about? You sounded like you threw me off. I thought like I had been like bamboozled. Like somebody else picked up your Discord for a second. Yeah, you pranked me. Uh -huh. This is my good mic. What the fuck? Okay, uh, that was just really unexpected. Let me uh, <laughs> let me invite you. Let's do some. I'm showing you, or I've like talked to you with this mic before. I think. I think maybe like once, but it was like a long time ago. Yeah. Um. 
I saw you click invite and I didn't get one. We love MCC. It's so good. You want me to swap back to the crappy mic? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you gotta swap back to the crappy mic. You're not actually the real Green Knight without the crappy headset mic. That's actually science. Like, that, that's actually, like, we had, we put scientists, they did some research on it, and they found out that it's actually less Green Knight without that. I'm just joining you. Like, you, you want me to use this one? Oh my god, you're so fucking quiet now. What is happening? <laughs> oh, yeah, you should, you should go back. Go back. I don't care. No, do, I do whatever go you want. back. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> I was just messing oh, with you. I don't I'm, care what I'm mic you I'm keeping the good mic. Yeah, okay. I don't care. Okay, I'll promote you. Uh, thank you, kind sir. Right, we do forge on construct. Let's just let's just fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go. Evil green. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to sometimes be deafening. I'm gonna probably. I don't know if I should mute or deafen, but I just, that way I can talk to chat and respond to super chats and stuff while we're doing this. Demon of Song with the Fiverr! You know Thank I'm you. Spawn in first. <laughs> Thank you for that Fiverr. By the way, I bet uh, with Shotgun that I can make an actual good map before he ends the stream and I'm at work for the next hour and a half. Demon, if you can actually make a good uh, map before the stream ends, that would be very impressive because there's not the most time left in the world. Yeah, alright, I know. I actually made a better working version of this, but it had crappy shading, so I said, screw it, I'm going back to the old one. I was just like, did you fix the sign? <laughs> I put the old crappy sign back. Yeah, no deleting it. Big sign? Uh, you know what, it's, this is a work in progress, you know, if people don't Even like the, the pink sign. Even the sign is a work in progress. <laughs> yeah. Even the sign. <laughs> alright, where oh. are What the heck, I just found one. That's a lot. That is a hell of a lot of vampires. I clicked it one time. Yeah, and okay. for everyone in chat right now, yeah, uh, Green did in fact make a whole ass vampire, and he uh, he sent it to me, and now it is in the mod. You yourself can in fact spawn the vampire. Ooh. Pew, 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 pew. That looks so sick. That looks so sick. What the hell? It's, it might be overpowered. I'm not really sure. I mean, I look. Tried it. In multiplayer at all. Now that so. all the vehicles can, uh, like, be destroyed. Here, wait, try blowing up the... I want to test this on a couple vehicles. What's the vehicle? Try blowing up, like, the Condor real quick. There we go. It might take a minute, because I gave it, like, a thousand health, but we'll see. You, you gonna shoot it? <laughs> oh, I am shooting. Wait, what? I don't see you <laughs> shooting. Uh-oh, desync. No! Try shooting with your tur little turrets, because those I know work. Yeah, I, I have been... Wait, what? I just saw you shooting them a second ago. What's going on? I Here, let know. me spawn a vampire. That's weird. You're never going to be able to blow it up, because on my end it's not showing up. Wait, so you yeah. pilot the vampire. I know how we can fix it. it just requires, like... There's, like, some networking thing you gotta change. Oh, yeah, you gotta set it to, like, continuous on the weapons or whatever. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I don't know. There we go. Okay, so that's what destruction looks like right now. Yeah, I don't even see you firing. Did you <laughs> see the condor blow? Up. Up. I saw the explosion, but it's still just like there. Yeah, there's no effects or damage states on it yet. It's literally just an explosion, uh, okay. but it is dead now. I can't get in the pilot seat anymore. It'll have to respawn now. You wanna see Urdu Khalili with the like? fiver. Thank you. 343 needs a whole studio of people with the passion you two have. Keep it up, brother. World War War. Thank you, Urdu. I appreciate that. Ayo, you know, see your passion is appreciated. Looks like. Yeah, okay, this is what it should look like when you blow stuff up. Here, let me blow you up. Actually, maybe I should use a vehicle that you can actually see. Yeah, I don't know how it's gonna work. Oh god, I'm like teleporting. What okay, let me, I'm gonna spawn a warthog so people can see how it looks. That'd be worth it. Uh, yeah, warthog, warthog, warthog. Okay, now you're on fire. Wait, come down here. Yep. I see you're on fire now. There's like chunks missing out of the vampire. Oh god, help. Ah, oh, holy shit, that thing is so fast. I know, it's kind of... Might be overpowered because of that. Let me go up in the air. Ooh, that's so cool. You got it like broken into different pieces and you chunks and stuff. It. it exploded, what happened? It took 
a while to do. Also, I had to make the chunks. Yeah, I know. Those look really good. Are they all three separate chunks, or is one of them like a region on the final thing, like the revenue? That's how I do it too, honestly. I like that you have it set to like that they appear in the right spot too. It's really cool. Yeah. Oh, you got the car with the big wheels on it that floats. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. At least it drives properly. Sounds like a mongoose though. Let me in. Let me in. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this is like the first time driving. There's the two people in it. This is this is some GTA shit. <laughs> it really is. Oh, I can't even honk the horn anymore. When yeah, I've got the horn over here. Oh, can I punch you? No, Wait, I can't. Ah! Oh, oh god. Damn, what a shame. I love that go shooting on, makes the horn go. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't do that. That's so funny though. <laughs> <laughs> hey infinite like listen. Your guns, wait man. infinite is in chat infinite listen it's not i'm not referencing you in the title okay i swear it's, i'm talking about the halo infinite forge you know very different drive it let me let me in the passenger seat all right kana thank you very much for that fiver oh, i appreciate man, that thank you the vampire speed oh, yeah, is its ultimate weapon. Flying low to the ground and then splattering any unfortunate fool who get in the way. True. Oh my god, no. The Hurry splatters up, are going to be so driving. bad in playtest. I'm going, I'm going. Somebody did a super chat just now and said that the best thing about, or the most powerful weapon on the vampire is its speed. Because you can just splatter yeah. the fuck out of people. I know. I was like, people are going to do that. And then I just didn't bother doing anything <laughs> about it. <laughs> Funny uh, that I can melee you. It doesn't do any damage, but just like. <laughs> Dude, this thing is amazing. I love how you spawn one and it's the green one. That's so fitting. I know. It was actually first try, <laughs> too. That's so perfect. <laughs> Will you do the honors and see if you can fly the condor? I don't know if you can. Yeah. Um, is this one broken? Or... No, it respawned. No, I don't know if it'll actually let you in the driver's seat or not. I have the prompt, but I can't get in. What? There's got to be a way to fix that. Yeah, it's called having a marker that's not the driver's seat. <laughs> yeah, but how do the other vehicles do it? By having a marker that isn't the driver's seat. What do you? No, they do though. No, they have on the same like driver entry, something like that. Yeah. yeah I can't get in this. Thing. Oh, you mean the marker that's used for sitting in the driver's seat has to be separate? From... Yeah, yeah. And that fixes it. That's what I did with the vampire. Works perfectly. Oh. Wow, that's good to know. Well, damn, Let I guess that means in. you technically people in multi- Oh! oh there you go. It. You're actually in the condor. That's fucking sick. Okay, bye. Uh, see you later. Oh, man. When you boost, it's just silent. Oh, God. It... Holy crap. Holy this crap, you're going crazy. It turns so much. I know. It turns <laughs> like crazy. See you later. Oh Why do you God. gotta fuck Why it up? How come you have to that? fuck it up every time, alright? Because it's funny. <laughs> you turn at like the most insane angle. That actually looks so cool though, damn. Oh my God. Vampire just spawned. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> this thing is so fast. It doesn't actually do anything though, it's just a transport vehicle for one person right now, I'm assuming. Yeah, it is. It looks cool though. Yeah, the boost. I didn't know that the, uh, like, back two thrusters turned on when you're boosting. Yeah, and there's some on the side too when you boost. Oh yeah, I see that. Um, speed! Speed! It's so long. <laughs> long door. So everything also, I, oh nice. <laughs> I should, I want to test a little bit of the vehicle destruction. I want to see if I can, I copied and pasted like destruction values to everything. I don't know if you can, but if possible, would you be able to get in the spirit and I will try to blow you up in it? Yeah. Oh God, the engine sound is constantly playing. <laughs> okay, let me, let me blow you up real even, quick. I know it does have a gun, there's just no crosshair. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I don't see you shooting me. No, I'm not no. shooting you yet. Oh, can you actually? I'm curious. Can you like look around in this thing? I want to see the little turret. 
Look at it go, a little turret zooming around. Look at it go. Look at it, there it goes, little turret. All right, let me blow you up real quick, we'll see. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm just taking damage from nowhere. Wait, it's actually dealing damage to you through the seat? Oh, yeah, there we I go. It blew up and you died, that's perfect. And I got kill credit for it. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. Now, obviously, I just need to make it look cool when it blows up. But, okay, wait. I, but the I technical side to, of it works. Hell yeah. I need you to drive this on in the back. I gotta see if you fall out or not. Okay. Wait, how do I go down in the uh, vampire? Uh, uh, isn't it control? Wait, I forgot. Right? We didn't even show the zoom on the vampire. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's doing like a weird thing when we're actually in game where my screen is wait, like... I can see you shooting now. What the heck? I'm not shooting. I'm pulling left trigger to zoom. Oh, it's just not what? synced. It's just not synced is it's all. So Whoa! What happened? I shot the needles nearby it. Oh, okay. The truck just went flying. Yeah, I want to get in the back of the truck. <laughs> get it, get it. Alright, let's go, let's go. I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. What? Oh. Oh, I actually stay in. <laughs> Skirt! Oh, Oh, yo, ah! what did you do? <laughs> How did I flip it? What the hell? What's going on? I can't flip it. There we go. Stop spamming the flip. Just, <laughs> I'm in the back. You can't flip it. Okay. There we go. Okay. We need like a really deep warthog horn sound for this. Yeah, uh, the engine is the mongoose too. It turns like, okay, like I'm just going to hold right, right stick for a second. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How'd this happen? Not the not the best handling ever. Eh, you know, there's a little bit of improvement. We'll get there. Get the back. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. There's like a little like lip on the end you can get on. There you go. Let's go. Oh, what the heck? You're so heavy. It I, barely I'm moves. I'm thick. You Using my back. mark, my Mjolnir Mark Six armor, I'm weighing down the entire truck. Whoa. Actually, you're Whoa. Right. In me mom's car, vroom vroom. Whoa, 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 the truck, who's driving this shit? Ooh. Oh, oh no. Help, help me, help, oh I'm God, spinning, help. Oh, yo, we landed, we landed upright, no way. <laughs> this is so epic. Uh oh, you broke Damn. It. Now we gotta blow it up. <laughs> oh, instant respawn. Nice. Oh wait, I almost forgot. I did remove the um the waterfall because I couldn't find the fix for it yet. I think I'm gonna recreate the waterfall from scratch and hope it doesn't break. Oh wait. Oh, the police war rug, it is here. Yeah, the police war rug is in here. It's sick. Hold on, give me a sec. Uh, Jan Spawn with the $2! Thank you. Appreciate you. If you made a con or police condor, it's like a prison bus. That's kind of true, actually. Most of it, it's like the same size as a pelican on the interior, though. But it's kind of true. And Demon with the 2 as well. Thank you. Get out, me Kai, you gammy blight it. Yeah, that's pretty true. That's pretty true. Looking good. Looking good in that police hog there, Mr. Green. Wee -woo, ah. wee -woo. <laughs> oh, I should make it so the troop hog has like working seats. I keep forgetting to do that. Oh, yeah. That's the thing that people always ask for is like they want to use the troop hog seats. Stop jaywalking. Ah! Get You're away from me. The no, please. Ooh, the truck is red now. Oh. Wait, it changes color when it responds. That's kind of neat. Yeah. What else do we have? Oh, of course, we have classics such as, but not limited to, the Heretic Banshee. I can't get in it. <laughs> I can't get it. Oh, I can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you I like, jumped, jumped into it. I, I, I jumped say. into it. <laughs> oh, no, wait. I betrayed you so many times. Fuck. Police Hog is better than the Razorback, arguably. Yes. Look how cool that thing is. Wow, what a cool vehicle. I wish the decals showed up a little better on it. You can't really see them that well. Ah. My ultimate power, Aww. Forge Mode. 
Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, I gave the the long sword can finally be destroyed. By the way, I I'm totally later in the stream. I think I'm gonna go and do the long sword effects because I want to completely redo all of the long swords effects. They bother the shit out of me that they're so bad. Yeah, you know what's interesting about the civilian vehicles is like, look how like look at the banshee next to this like cargo truck. Holy right. shit, the banshee's huge. Yeah. It's huge! What the hell? I mean, if I stand next to the truck, like, I'm, I didn't make the truck, like, too small. No, you didn't. Well, Spartans are, like, huge, as is already. And then, yeah. that really the puts in a pers- Yeah, actually just huge. What the hell? That's crazy. Demon with the fiver, thank you. If I remember correctly, most of my vampire kills in Extinction 2 were screwed boogaloo. Warthog civilian? Oh, uh, Extinction civil? 2 screwed boogaloo. Were splatter no kills, because the weapon kind of sucked. What? Yeah, we'll hopefully we'll we'll make that work. I you know what I'm realizing though is uh, Demon made a fair point a second ago, which is that like in Extinction Two, the Razorback ba or not the Razorback fuck the uh, vampire mainly got uh, splatter kills because it kind of had crappy weapons. So yeah. maybe we should make it like a little slower because that's the same problem the Spirit and the Phantom has. People like the weapon sucks. And people are just like I'm just gonna ram. Honestly. I don't know, the weapons on the vampire aren't too bad. I haven't really had the chance to test them. Oh damn it, that kinda sucks though, because we can't play test the vampire's weapons now. Cause we uh fix it and re-upload it. It's not that big. True, it's like half a gig. It's not it's actually less than half not a gig. Even that much, yeah. Alright, let's we see. Just poke in assembly for now to figure out what's going on. Ah, uh, hold on. I gotta test out all of the vehicle destruction. If this works, then that means literally everything works. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of sad that uh, the Golden Warhog doesn't play loud, obnoxious music <laughs> when you drive it. Uh, I should make that the horn, at least. Nah, it should. It needs the loud horn that, like, the Extinction nice. Reach one had. Um, it definitely needs a really loud horn. Like, literally up the decibels. That would be hilarious. Boom! That's what it was like in Reach. I it know! Was so loud. <laughs> it would overtake every other sound. It was and so then the intense. And the music was, like, super loud as well, but I found that kind of funny. Just adds to it. Right now, it's literally just a golden warhog with nothing special. Just... It, it's uh, you know what? Different. It's gold. It's gold. It's got blue seats, and it's shiny. Is that Abyss Quick with the two dollars? Holy crap, is that Green Knight? Do be shiny. Abyss Quick said, holy crap, is that Green Knight? Yeah. Demon with the Fiver, you're gonna make it so that the longsword doesn't launch a nuke every time you boost? Already fixed. That's actually already done. Oh, let me fly the longsword. That's right, I, for anybody who knows, if you know, you know. The longsword's left trigger boost AKA right click that, right? boost. Yeah, it I is. Told you to fix that. The nuke, it, you can boost now with the long sword and you won't oh, okay. launch a nuke. Okay. Still don't sit in the seat correctly. I'm going to completely like redo everything. I can I can easily fix the animations on the long sword's laps as well. Does this right. have localized physics or not? Boost. It does, yeah. They don't work real well. <laughs> Uh, they should have a localized physics. I'm like literally gonna die in here. <laughs> <laughs> Kaipi with the two dollars, thank you. Holy crap, is that a Bisquick and Green Knight? It's the very same. It's crazy. Ow, did you just punch me? I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I can't take. Ah. What you mean, trail? What? <laughs> Eat that idiot. Wait, I'm alive. We we landed. I still can't get in this thing. Demon with the fiver. Yeah, no, I can't. Lettuce goes ham mentioned something about a Corvette we with an interior. Got something to share? Oh yeah, hold on. I want to show people the the work in progress thingy. I'm gonna open. Well, I, I, yeah, you know what? Let me open Sapien real quick. I want to show people. Uh, we'll keep messing around, and we should like make a map and stuff. But before the stream goes on too long. I made a cool thing, and I'm going to show it real quick. I will actually be right back while you do that. Okay, cool. Good timing, good timing. Connor with the two dollars. Those aren't dollars, those are Europe's. 
Thank you very much for those. Uh, holy crap. Is that a Bisquick, Grinny Knight, and Kaipi? Holy crap, is that Connor? Beat you to it. All right, we're going to switch over to uh, the modding tool real quick. You guys are going to, your minds are going to be blown. It's going to be the craziest thing you've ever seen. Oh my God. Summer is really on its way. It is hot as hell in here. I'm sweaty and stinky and disgusting. All right, uh, we're loading. We're compiling the vampire shaders. I think you guys are gonna be really excited about this. Uh, once you see it, you're gonna be like, oh, is that the thing that we wanted years ago but we never got? My room's like Death Valley. Oh God, Damon. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Okay, well, I, I don't know. The map's taking forever to load, so let's go back to actually really in the game Halo for a sec. I chant in here too, but I am also stupid with my Momi. Oh, I almost forgot. I added a, a couple of fun weapons into the mod as well. Crazy. Halo 3 Scarab Gun, baby! And some of you, you know, with all the mods that we've been doing lately, you might be thinking to yourself, Oh, Halo 3 Scarab Gun. That's so not awesome. Don't you worry, I got you covered. We also have the Halo 2 Scarab Gun. Not even a problem. Not even a problem. Still no bots. Strange. Oh, and we can do both at the same time. Halo 3 Scarab Gun. Halo 2 Scarab Gun. Why not both? Yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, let's see. The map has loaded. All right, let's switch on over real quick. So here we're in the uh, mod tools. Yes, we are running mod tools and the game at the same time. I know. Crazy. But uh, if you recall, all right, this is, I'm going to give you a little bit before I show you what I've been working on. And keep in mind, it's not in the map. It's still, I'm probably going to work on it later on stream and finish it up. But uh, let me go to my YouTube channel really quick. I don't remember, I don't know how many of you who are in chat right now had the opportunity. Hey, Yo, I'm about to show off the new, the thing I was working on last night. Um, I don't know, I want to show people like, the extinction. It's, you know, the, the covenant thingy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to show people, because remember in Halo and Extinction, like OG Extinction? Mm -hmm. Obviously the bases were set up. Canyon Chaos? Canyon Chaos, yeah. The best map, the only map. <laughs> Canyon Chaos was amazing. Okay, this is in my... May 24... Oh, wait. No, this is not my video. I don't think it shows it. Hold on. Where's my release video? Here. Boom. Someone made a an account Discord named Green Knight and sent me a friend request. <laughs> Epic. So, this is, wait. This was February of 2020. So, two years ago now, I, I put out this mod. Two years ago. All right. Now, in the mod... Okay, in Extinction, the, one of the most popular map variant was Canyon Chaos, and it had a Covenant, so there was a UNSC frigate up in the air on one side of the map, right? And then on the other side of the map was, you'll see it right here, on the other side of the map, there was the giant supercarrier, and in these hangars, uh, you could like fly through the entire thing, so somebody built a Covenant like hanger out of big purple blocks that I had to put in the mod inside there. So you could fly in and like park in the Covenant carrier. Uh, Demon with the fiber, thank you. Read what AJ said, it's important. What AJ said. All right, no donos from your favorite parking garage girl today. Remind people to like the stream. Ah, thank you, AJ. Oh, we, gotta, we gotta add a parking garage. Please like the stream, everybody. And the uh, parking garage gets one step closer to existing. And also it'll make the YouTube algorithm love uh, everything. But long story short, people had to build a forge hangar into the super carrier, but no longer. We gotta remake this map. <laughs> you mean Canyon Chaos? Uh, yeah, it was. I, it was so simple, but so good. It was. So you said you said it was the most popular map variant. And that's because it was the only one. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty fucking true. I don't even really care though. Like it, it was a good map. I liked it. It was a good map for the time being. Anyway, like we couldn't place rocks or like anything. No, it like, actually like, it was tiny forge ones. We had the giant blocks, the, what was it, like Block Mountain or something back yeah, then? Perfect cubes. That wasn't even in the first one. That was in the second one. 
No, no, the first down. one, remember, you would, like, place down the giant oh, stone blocks, yeah, would, and it would block yeah, the, the spawn mountain. points. Here, where is it? <laughs> These, I actually really liked the blocks in the OG Extinction. This one right here, Block Mountain. It was so yeah, big. Yeah, those are kind of cool, those wall pieces. Yeah, just giant walls. We kind of have those now. And we had the crappy, like, these... It was so cool that, like... I thought it was so cool that I made the cubes. Like, I really liked the cubes, but, like, obviously we have way better pieces than that now. Kana with the two! Thank pretty, you. Pretty, like, versatile regardless. They're pretty good. They were... Honestly, they were they were good. Reach had some really good shaders. I'm excited for Reach. Kana, thank you for the two. Bro, we need a parking garage in Next Extinction. Do we? You'll have to just build one out of the intense forge pieces. Okay, wait, let me find, um... Yeah, basically, this was uh, how it worked. But now, in 2022... Can you please stop splattering me? I can hear it. It's so <laughs> wait, loud. Just go back to your game real quick. I, oh, no! <laughs> you were, oh, wait, you were carrying me. Yeah. Oh, I, I couldn't tab back in really quick. Hold on, let me show this oh, off real man. quick, and then I'll tab back in the game. <laughs> You're just like, what is that sound? This. This is a super carrier oh, actually, with an yeah, interior. I seen it in game yet. You're just showing me it, in Blender, but it was like it's it needs work still. The shaders are a bit screwed up, if I'm being honest. It's very dark in there too. Yeah, there's like the walls are too shiny. There's like some weird issues where things are like lit weirdly, but that's a super easy fix. But literally you'll be able to just fly in and out of these hangers. And obviously I'll make the shield doors look cooler than this, because right now they look a little Weird, but basically, right, you can place down one of these giant super carriers, or salt carriers, whatever they are, and then you can just make it into a giant base. It'll have a huge interior, and it's literally up to you to place down some phantoms in here, walk around, fly on out, and then enter the map. It's going to be ridiculous. So that was like one like forge piece I feel like that people have been asking for for a really long time, and that is coming very soon to the mod. Okay. Let's switch back to Halo. Halo! Can you, can you stand on this thing? Uh, let me see. Whoa! Okay, bye. <laughs> uh, well, oh, I, I, I mean, think you're so. on it, but I, the second I go forward, you're probably gonna fly off. Oh, yeah. yeah, instantly I'm gonna fly off. Hold on. Demon of Song with the Fiverr! Thank you. And in that parking garage is the Demon of Song sponsored and textured elephant. Oh, the it's black and red fast, elephant, the I most epic vehicle, here. objectively. The front part. Take me away! Take me away! Whoa. Kai P with the fiver as well. Thank you, Kai. Good to see you in here. Again. Have you considered a oh. weapons officer seat for the longsword since it's a bomber giving them bomb control? Oh yeah, I'm gonna redo the longsword almost completely, and I'll probably start doing it a little bit today on stream. So if you're interested in a little bit of a longsword beautification stream where I make it amazing, well, stay tuned, because that's gonna be later today. Halo hey, Brian, can you do Patreon multiplayer playtest? Yeah, actually, um, we might do it later today if there's a lot of people on. If not, we'll definitely do it tomorrow. Just, uh, if you're part, if you are on my Discord server and a member of Patreon, then I will ping you, and then you will know it is time to play, or I'll let you know when it is time to play. What's the most satisfying vehicle we've added so far? What do you think the most satisfying vehicle is that we have? I, I lurky like the car I made. <laughs> it is pretty good. Other than the wheels being bad, like, I got the doors working and stuff on both sides. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Ah, what the fuck? Ah! I think the vampire would be satisfying if I could, uh, if it could shoot properly. Yeah, and if it if could it wasn't shoot. On fire. And if, uh... Actually, you know, I said I wanted to help you do redo the effects, but they're honestly pretty good. I might just, like, touch up the fire effects. I already really like how the engines look, but if you want, I can go hard on them as well. If you want to. Urdu Kalili with the Fiverr! Yeah, Thank you! Gonna be a battering ram. You should port some of the high charity uh, Covenant interior pieces to let us get that bridge on the carrier. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I definitely need some good Covenant pieces. And that would be a really good place to grab them from. And Mr. Banshee with the Fiverr. Thank you very much, Mr. Banshee. Appreciate you. Yeah, people keep talking about how clean the vampire looks. It's so true. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. He, you saw me firing there. Yeah, I just saw you firing. 
Wait, what? Wh wait, what? It's when I'm scoped in, you can see me firing. What the heck? That's so weird. Yeah. Wait, what if you scope in and shoot needles? Does that does that show? No, it doesn't look like it. Weird. Rest in peace, car. It was so young. Oh, I am doing damage. At least. I'm gonna be honest. This might be just me being biased, but I genuinely think the most satisfying vehicle is the Condor, but only when you're boosting. Because it's just another Pelican. <laughs> but it's only when you're boosting. Like flying it around normally is lame, but when you go boom and you boost, and it has like that really satisfying flight physics and no, the wing it's trails. No, it's faster than this. <laughs> It's oh, a lot faster than this. It's, it's just so satisfying. Okay, I feel like I'm flying a star citizen ship. Oh, <laughs> Holy <God>. shit! <laughs> Holy shit, ramming speed! Oh my god, I just crushed the vampire! Oh my god! <laughs> breaks it into pieces. Actually destroying it right now. What the hell? Bro, what? Daddy shotgun, what the... That's me. I'm sorry, what is going on? I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. oh my... <laughs> you died too. I don't even know how I died. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Is that the vampire from Halo Wars? Yeah, Green made the vampire. He spent like the past couple days making oh, it. It looks really I good. And it is now in Ultimate in Forge. Space Pickle! Oh, oh my eyes! It doesn't do damage. Yeah, Ooh. I haven't given the space. That sound though. That sounds pretty cool. Wait, wait, we should do like uh, nuclear space pickle testing. We gotta get sniper rifles. I was gonna just spawn a bunch of them. Cause that's fun. That's what everyone wants. <laughs> they don't blow each other up. They don't do damage. Not with that attitude, they don't. <laughs> Even with the fiver, gonna make the flying Dorito explode into smaller Doritos? Flying Dorito? Is. I'm trying to think of anything that's triangular. What's a flying oh Dorito? My oh my god! That was like five at the same time. Wait, do it again, do it again, I wasn't looking. Do it again, I wasn't looking. Thank you for the fiver though, Demon. That's only one. They're not... Oh, it's so satisfying. Yet. Yeah, I'm kind of happy it doesn't kill people, because when other people join, they'll just be like, ha ha. Ha ha, I'm going to spawn the space pickle now. Look <laughs> at my humor. Oh ho ho ho. Oh ho I mean, it is pretty funny, but... Oh wait, they all spawn back. Yeah. All right, are you ready for, like... Ten space pickles at the same time. Ones. Oh my eyes! There's so much lightning. Don't worry, I'm I'm fine down here. <laughs> that sound was really intense. Holy shit! Yeah, I like that sound. It's cool. And I love how the dust cloud rolls across the battlefield. Me too. It's very cool. So even I, Me when too. I added that effect, now people are gonna like, oh, people are gonna be across the battlefield and like a giant space nuke went off on one side of the map. Yeah. I'm using the Halo 3 Scarab gun and it blinds me. Good. Good. Alright. What else do we have? Oh, I showed off the Scarab guns. Those are in. I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, God. Holy crap. Does that actually damage things? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. You should try it. I'm actually curious to know what it looks like. Where is it? Uh, bottom of the weapons oh. list. Scarab gun, scarab gun H2. What's the difference? Oh, that's the difference. Yeah, the H2 is a lot cooler and more intense. Holy what fuck, rocks overheats? are falling on me. Oh, I keep forgetting to remove the overheat on it. Whoopsies. Demon yeah, with the two dollars. Thank you. He's flown Oast the Dorito multiple times. I'm gonna be honest, Demon. I don't know if you're speaking English anymore. I don't know what the fuck Oast the Dorito is. <laughs> what the fuck? And Kana with the two as well. Thank you. We've seen the long sword, short sword, when wide sword. Oh my God! We could have added the short sword to this. I've, bleh, I'm, I didn't even think about it. Oh, you gotta rebuild the map anyway. Yeah. True. 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 
What is Demon? Demon keeps talking about uh, the flying Dorito. He's and I asked what the hell is the flying Dorito, and he said. That's gotta be the short sword, right? Maybe. The flying Dorito. And then, but he sent this like this super chat that's like actually encoded. He says he's flown Oast the Dorito multiple times. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's the long sword. It's literally the long sword. That's exactly what it is. I knew that. I was oh, actually just testing sword. everybody. It's a short sword. I was literally testing everyone. It's fine. Dorito. <laughs> the flying Dorito. I'm actually really excited to mess with the long sword effects. Okay, this is what has bothered me so much for so long now. Oh, well, I actually have to get in the cockpit one sec. Okay, the whoa, engine. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah, the engine effects. Look at that. They're just like these two little nothings. Yeah. Two little nothings. And look, sometimes the effects don't even play right. They're just like little tubes of weird fire. These are the first effects I ever did custom when Mod Tools came out, was these engines. And like, they look so poopy, right? They're real yeah, stinky. They're and, kind of poopy. and then you look at the uh, Condor, which is the most recent engine effects I did. And I have like them perfectly working on a, like a long engine, very similar to the long swords. It's got like lens flares and glow, and they're dynamic, and everything works so much better. And oh my god, I didn't even realize the back engines turned too. That's crazy. That's so cool. You didn't notice the back ones turning. No, I didn't even know. No. That's so cool though. I really want to make this into like a proper vehicle too. Yeah, now I'm going to do the longsword engines so much better though. The main thing that bothered me with the longsword engines was that like, I didn't know how to do long thin particle lines, but like these engines are literally the same thing as the longsword. Look at that, they're long, thin engines. Now I can easily do that. Speed oh God, boost! So you know, I open the map in uh, assembly. <laughs> no. Oh my God. With the ramming Dude, speed. Dude, it's just like broken at three pieces. It's oh, so you're, cool. you should make your Gibbs uh, have... I gotta make the Gibbs have like a larger bounding radius or LOD because they disappear after like 10 feet. Oh, really? I, I was, forgot about that. I wanted to see them go flying across the map, but yeah. they disappear. I don't know. Oh, no, I'm so sad. Someone... Andrew Vandals with a two. Thank you very much, Andrew. Good to see you again. Red and orange Shredder Vampire, mayhaps. Shredder vampire? Is, that a, is there a different variant of the vampire that I didn't even know I mean, about? Not that I know of. <laughs> huh. Interesting. And Demon with the $2 as well. Thank you. Appreciate you. I'm on a phone. Cut me some slack. I, I guess so. I, I mean, it definitely just feels like you're on the phone. <laughs> we go. Whoa. Wait, does this have localized physics? Uh, No, it does not. This is just regular physics. No. What the heck, I'm staying on it, like, pretty well. Wait, actually, how are you staying on it so well? I, I don't know. <laughs> what? Wait, I'm... it's not even localized physics, but I'm, like, on it. Like, okay, I'm gonna boost. I mean, I slightly, like, slide around. Time to boost. boost. Full stop to boost. <laughs> Oh man, no! Oh. <laughs> um. Speed! Okay, we should build a map now. You don't want to fix the vampire first? Or... Any of the other things that I can't get in? Um, oh right, I guess we probably should, but then I, that's gonna be quite a bit of work. It'll probably be like another half hour at the very least before we get back to it. Because also, what? even when I rebuild the map, it's not like the map won't work. Because we can like... I guess that's true. We gotta delete all this crap though. <laughs> yeah, we do. We can just stuff it all in the back of the frigate real quick. True. Or you could delete it. Wait, the Condor's gonna be way too big for the frigate, isn't it? Oh my Probably. god, yeah. Oh, it like literally doesn't make, go in. We need to make like the Pillar of Autumn with uh, with the like... True, like, uh, 
giant scenery pillar of autumn would be so yeah. sick. But also with the like uh, ship bay or whatever. Damn, we totally need it. that. Yeah, you're right. Wait, Demon is song with the five dollars. Speaking of localized physics, placeable AI to AI Halo Two Scarab in the Forge menu. Maybe I'm actually I was really tempted to do AI like placeable AI today because I think it would make oh, this man, mod a lot more fun. Some scarab but guns out in the middle there of will nowhere. be a, probably a Halo Two Scarab AI, very similar to how there was a Halo Three Scarab AI in uh, Arcbound. Oh, no. So once I get to AI, yeah, definitely. And Demon with a ten the as well. Like... Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was actually uh, quite generous. Ah, uh, yes. Fix the things to give me more time to make my map. All right. Uh, now we're just not fixing them uh, straight up. Because uh, we're going to win. We're going to win this competition. All right. I, I really want to do the Reach Pillar of Autumn. That would be so sick. It would be a really good scenery piece, too. And I mean, I know I'm not done with the Covenant uh, Carrier uh, having the interior, mm. like, hangar bay. But honestly, that was easy. It took me, like, half an hour to, like, model and UV that. I can't imagine it would be terribly hard to do the uh, Pillar of Autumn. And it's gigantic. Cliff huge. Cliff huge. I'm inside of it. Okay. Just shot me across the Yeah, map. I was going to say, I just saw you like a mile away. <laughs> make the destroyed Autumn. Probably just make a non-destroyed Pillar of Autumn. don't we have a map that like me, you, and Infinite Forges worked on? Um, yeah, actually, and it should still be valid. I can load that up real quick. We should do that and just, like, add to that map. Game that could be fun. What if we did, like, a giant scale one, though? Like, kind of extinction style. I'm down. I just, I wish we had, well, no, wait, no, the frigate does have the, like, little thing in the back. You can put vehicles. Yeah, it's pretty small. A lot smaller than, the like, the hangars that we had on, uh, OG yeah. Extinction. Man, the Saber and the Seraph were like a huge part of that mod, actually. When did we make this? 217 versus 225. Okay, I think... Yeah, the Saber and Seraph were a really big part of that. We gotta add those. It would be really cool to have. you right. Demon with the Fiver, thank you. Randomly rotating the cliff huge adds more variation. Oh, 100%, yeah. You can split it, it upside down, mammoth. rotate it around, do all kinds of stuff mammoth. with it. <laughs> Oh god, I, I everyone loves the mammoth. The mammoth actually would be cool, but like god, the pain in the ass of getting that to work in Halo 3. I feel like I could do it to be honest. Wait, where what? There's no map. This is just a normal map. What is this? Did it not save? I'm so confused. I don't know. Okay, hold on, let's try that again. We'll go to another map on here. Game over. Remember That's Mammoth guy? Food. Yeah, Bruin. I remember Bruin. You haven't eaten? If you're gonna go eat, then I'm gonna go I have food fix right stuff. Here. Oh, bet. <laughs> Unless you wanna like fix it, I was just gonna eat right now. Do it. And... Wait, Green That's, Canyon. You know, I is... have pizza. Green Canyon. I think that's the one. Maybe you and I worked. On. I don't know. I. <laughs> I didn't decide the names. <laughs> you did. I don't know what any of the names are. I named them all stupid things. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Only normies want mammoth. Real chads want demon of song sponsored black and red glowing neon light elephant. The party elephant. Let's fucking go, dude. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think any of the maps work anymore. I think all of them are broken somehow. I have no I idea guess how. The sign, the sign does make sense then. Yeah, there you go. All maps are broken. Kind Demon with the two dollars. Like, Things will break and then the sign is broken. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I don't, nobody asked, alright, who asked? I don't care. I don't fucking, I don't give a shit. I don't care. I, I can't even shoot you. We, we, I guess this means we do have to actually make our own map. Just to be safe, I'm gonna end it one more oh, time though. Just because, okay. uh, you yeah, know, I don't know if it's like a cursed variant or something. But Demon with the $2, thank you. Fix before I buy you another game. That's the opposite of a threat. You're threatening me with a good time. You're threatening me with nice things. That's like, if you don't do what I want, I'm gonna buy you a Gucci bag. It's like, excuse me, that sounds nice actually. I think I want that.
but we will fix it. So don't you worry. Don't you worry. Even just a teensy tiny bit. We got, we'll, we'll be doing, we'll be fixing stuff. We're going to make sure that you can get in the vehicles properly and all that good stuff. Virgin Mammoth versus Chad Metropolis Porto Scarab. I'm going to be honest. I don't, never heard it called that, but I, I know what you're trying to say. Okay, first things first, we delete the starting spawn area. Actually, let's keep, I'm going to keep the starting spawn area so we don't lose track of where we are. Let's build a fucking map, bruh. First, the most important thing we need to start on our map, uh, a condor, okay? So we're going to build the entire map around the condor. So that's basically how this is going to go. Deal? Oh, you can't speak. Get wrecked. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, that's a huge piece of terrain. Actually, I'm tempted to say we shouldn't use this terrain piece. For a couple of reasons. Because uh, I need a better physics model for the terrain. So I don't know if it's actually worth using because it's really bumpy. Like, it's when you have it on this scale, it's like absurdly floaty and bumpy. So if I just start like driving... Oh, right there is a perfect example. I think we'll, we'll use the smaller pieces because if not, you like hit bumps all the time. And as a player on foot, you'll have to like jump over you little areas. Muted, right? For me. You can't. Oh my god. Yeah. Sorry. I, what I was saying was uh, we probably shouldn't use these enormous pieces uh, if we don't have really. to. Only reason is because they have crappy physics models right now. They're so big that the oh, physics model flaws say, actually show. I was going to say um, if we're going to make a map like the size of the extinction map. Should probably use a bunch of these stuck together. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. The problem is, like, do you see I what's happening to me right now? Bad. Yeah, let me. Come here. Check this out. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? What is right yeah. there? It's oh, just a giant. What? There's like a solid, like, drop off right okay, here. Okay, yeah. I had no idea. It's only on this yeah. one. Even, like, this, the one that's one size smaller than this, the I think it's like the large size one, the are perfectly one. fine. But I mean, oh, honestly, we could use, use these. One, we could use the huge ones and still say, just screw it. No, we're using the large one. All right, all right. Andrew Van Dolst with the what $2. The Thank you very much. In my opinion, it ain't a true condor without the lasers so and Mac. Sad. Yeah, I'm tempted because I, I still have creative liberties to like mess with it because I haven't added them yet. I'm tempted to just add them anyway and then make variants without it. So I think that's probably what I'll do. But I respect your opinion, Andrew. I respect that. Demon with the fiver as well, thank you. Lol, it's Chad Demon of Sun Ghost Heart Elephant. <coughs> oh my god. Yeah. I don't know if there's such thing as a Chad Elephant. I think that's just called a mammoth. <laughs> Maybe we should use the huge pieces, because if we're going to build like an enormous map, we're definitely going to need like... I don't know, I mean these big pieces are pretty good. Are you rotating them at all yet or are they just identical? I haven't yet. Okay, if okay, I just... rotate it, my like camera will like freak out and I stuff. just wanted to make sure because uh, I didn't want it to be like desyncing. So let's, let's start doing some stuff well, here. Well now I rotated a piece. Round medium, cliff medium. Where are the large and... Cliff large, cliff huge. Everything's so disorganized. You made the menu. <laughs> you should know. <laughs> Listen, man. I'm redoing the entire menu, like, soon-ish. You want to see a super epic base? I'm going to build it out of, like, a bunch of pieces. Look. Yeah, what's... All right, what's ready? the inspo for this ready? map? All right, here. <laughs> Damn, you just built this whole base right now? You're yes, crazy, man, dude. Like 54 pieces. It's crazy. Dude, man. that's crazy. You're actually so wild that you just built that whole thing. It looks identical to the one from Valhalla. That's so crazy. Know, right? Damn, what a what a forger you are. Um Okay. All right, here's what I'm thinking, okay? One side of the map, UNSC. Other side of the map, Covenant. It's cursed, it's unbalanced. Or, no, you know what? Even better. <laughs> the Covenant as a vampire, the UNSC as a cargo truck and a civilian <laughs> car. <laughs> Forge flat grass, yeah, literally. It's so chill here, it's so relaxing. The atmosphere is nice. Demon with the fiver. Did you get the tower and effects working in multiplayer? I'm gonna just uh, place tower and effects. Though. No, no, no. I've not gotten the tower and effects working yet. 
Uh, in fact, I kind of forgot. Oh, Maybe I'll make that like a placeable <laughs> effect object. I mean, do you think we should add like the beam tower shooting out beams into the sky? That'd be cool, and it'd be really easy to do, just like a looping effect. Yeah, I was thinking we could either add it like permanently into it, or we could just make like an effect object that you can spawn and put in it. But realistically, uh, I, I don't know how many people. To be yeah. honest. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of right though. You do be kind of right though. Where does it even come from in this? Somewhere. <laughs> Comes out of there. I don't know. Uh, but all right, here's the thought. I, here's the thought process for this map, right? On one side of the map, we have a frigate, okay? But it's gonna be like on the ground. Oh shit, we need invisible walls. I gotta put up invisible wall objects soon. Yeah, wait, is there water? Yeah, there's water. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, oh here's the idea for the map, right? I'm gonna crash the frigate into the ground a little bit, and that'll be like the UNSC starting base, and then it'll be like uh, the arc or like a halo ring, right? And we'll have like some forerunner bases around, but it'll be like really, really big. And then on the other side of the map, there'll be like another crashed frigate, and it'll basically be like, like Blood Gulch, basically, like a giant canyon, but with like insane scale and like pelicans and stuff and we'll okay. we, we should make it like multi-layered too like i want to add um oh shit i forgot we can do like fog effects and stuff oh you know you know what i didn't tell you i forgot but uh the effects stuff needs to be redone i have to completely redo it all Ooh, like I, I can keep the effects but like they don't show up in custom games because they're set to disappear I had a fix for it, I just never applied it, so um, oh, okay. none of the effects objects will appear yet. That I'll kind of fix sucks, that later. I Damn, I forgot how cool my little FX pyramids look. They look so official. <laughs> so much effort put it in just the pyramids. They're so nice. Man, the, adding water actually like changes it so much. I know. Really nice. I love the water. Demon of Song with the Fiverr, thank you. I'm uh, Because as if right now, if you didn't... That base is going to be in... Wait, because as if right now, if you didn't, that base is going to be invisible in multiplayer mode. Base is invisible in multiplayer mode? I don't think any bases are going to be invisible in multiplayer mode. Effects and stuff have that issue a little bit. I don't know about bases. Andrew, Vandals with a Fiverr as well. Thank you. Appreciate you. Map looks cool. Kind of reminds me of GM Flatgrass. The only thing missing is a secret room hiding a doll and a giant Flattywood sign on the map border. I actually do have one little crappy <laughs> Easter egg on this map right now, so... When, uh, when everybody gets access to it later, you can go hunt for it if you want. I'll put a better Easter egg later on. A couple of them, actually. And Demon with the $10. Sheesh. Thank you, Demon. Also, can you make the invisible walls a different texture than the static texture that makes it sore to line them up in arc bound? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'll make them more, like, solid instead of just being, like, invisible with warps. The only reason I used that in arc bound was because I didn't really have shader options. Now I can do fully custom shaders. It'll make it a lot easier to line them up, so don't you worry. The invisible walls will look cool. They'll probably look similar to the uh, FX pyramids in, like, design. Okay. Wait, by the way, can you see the rain when I place this down here in Forge? Yeah, I can. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so it does sync all that. Dope. Is Damn. there just a thing that says it doesn't, like, spawn in multiplayer? It's just, uh, it's the only appears in editor flag, and the problem that I had yeah. is, uh... Oh, it makes the effect disappear? Yeah, because the effect is attached to it. The, the solution, though, right? This is the big brain. Yeah, what would you do? What I would do is that this pyramid would actually not be the real object. The pyramid, with the effect, would be, um, an attachment, I think was my solution. So, like, the main thing would disappear. It's the same way they get, um... The same way the juicy effects and screen effects work, like the spheres disappear, but the attachments are set in a specific way. I totally forget, but it's literally the same okay. thing. Well, yeah, if those work, then it theoretically should. That'd be nice, though, because honestly, I really do want to have people have the ability to have like rain and stuff on their maps. I like the rain. It's cool. It's surprisingly cool. Uh, it's nice too. you like put it together with the fog real quick and it's like, damn, changes the mood of the map completely. Yeah. I, oh, I need to redo the storm clouds. I hate the storm clouds so much. <laughs> They're so gross. It's literally just smoke. It's just like a shit ton of smoke particles. Yeah. Juicy. Juicy. 
the ominous chunk of terrain flying in the air over the clouds watching you. Yeah, why well, you place that and just never fix it? <laughs> it's so spooky looking. It's up in the rain cloud just sitting there. What is it? What does it want? What does it want from us? <sighs> hey, yo, Texas Tangler? What's up? Who a Texas Tangler? You live there. Texas Tangler, that's where I live. I need to know if the longsword has a nuke. It's a legal requirement for me, enforced by me doing nothing. Ah, oh, jeez, gamer. Does the longsword have a nuke? Uh, you, you know, you must be thinking of like the old uh, Halo Custom Edition longswords, you know? Because I, if I remember right, I think those may may have had a nuke. I can't fully remember. Um, but I guess if I were to make a longsword as a longtime CE player, I would be obligated to add a nuke to it. Oh my god. Theoretically, of course. <laughs> uh, I do want to redo it, but... I'm You're trapped stuck? in the collision on this thing. <laughs> Wait, what? I, I'm, like, inside of it. I, like, spawned it in, and I, even if I swap back and forth, I can't get out. <laughs> Please free me. <laughs> free me. Welcome back. I moved it. Oh. Okay, I'm saved. Oh. Oh. I was gonna have like a. Oh, what is this? This is cool. Frigate. Yeah, I was gonna have a bridge over it connecting the like frigate thing. Well, wait, but why? Shouldn't we put up like, um, like terrain walls and stuff to like close off the entire place? I will, but I just wanna add a bridge over this. See how it looks. Someone said, I feel like your old nuke explosion was more wild. Maybe it's because it's reached. No, no, no. That the it old the screen shake. <laughs> no, the old nuke effect was better. I'm actually there's a so the nuke in the longsword was and all the longsword effects and stuff were some of the first effects I ever made in Halo 3 with the mod tools. And compared to the newer stuff I've done, like the space pickle, I feel like the nuke and the longsword effects are really crappy. I feel like I've definitely learned the systems a lot better, and I'm gonna redo. Like I said, I'm gonna redo the nuke and the longsword effects. I'm, I'm no longer satisfied with them. I was thinking of adding, like, you know how on the ghost and, like, the revenant, there's kind of, like, those anti-grav effects? Yeah. I was thinking of adding that underneath the vampire. I think it might look cool. That would, so oh, this... I was thinking about that, too. When I was telling you the other night that I wanted to mess with the effects, I yeah. literally, it was like, that was what I thought of. <laughs> Okay, we we gotta make this like a really big area. Let me like just start expanding the ground. And finally contributing to the group project. That's Let's right. <laughs> See now I'm contributing after you began contributing today too. Mood. <laughs> Fuck. Demon with the fiver, thank you. Real quick, see if that tower shows up in custom games because the last map I made with the old tool. Oh, I fixed that. I know, yeah, it was. It didn't have multiplayer object properties. Now it does. I think. Didn't we? Didn't we have a problem before where the tower didn't have multiplayer object properties or something, and it like didn't show up in custom? No, it had. It was like the render distance. No. Right? Oh, it was not visible. An editor was checked on it. That's right. Or it was only visible in editor, it was checked. I think I fixed that on my end. Oh, we're gonna have to re-upload the map regardless. True, anything we test, we can get rid of the minor technical bugs and then focus on like the big stuff. Mm -hmm. Ground large incoming. This ground is actually so freaking large, man. It's so freaking large. Big ground. Isn't there a ramp piece that's just in the game? Yeah, it's uh, in the scenery palette, I think. You know, one of these days, there has got to be a fix for the monitor, like, orbiting distance. It's so I know. painful. No one knows how to fix it. Yo, you know who we should ask? Who? Oh, Square. Yeah, we should ask yeah, Square. Yeah. He might know. He could. 
He just like knew, just like, ah. It's like, yeah, you know, he knows some stuff. Can fix sounds in the mod tools. Certainly, he can find the one value for the fucking monitor orbit. Yeah. Okay, I'm starting to realize that we need to work harder on our terrain because it's looking a little stinky. I just threw the pieces down. Like, <laughs> didn't really give it any thought. You know what? What if... Oh, we can't really do that now. I was gonna say, what if we had the edges of the map raised up and the entire battle takes place in like a low incline area where it's kind of like a valley? You know what I mean? Kinda, so it's like yeah. the center of the map is lower and the it's edges of the map late. are raised up. It's, <laughs> it's like a too bowl. Late for that. That no, it's really not too work. late for that. What? That wouldn't really work well for like ground vehicles though. What if we did the opposite where bases are like lower and everything raises up to like a hill in the center of the map? That might be better. We'd still have to move everything, but... Also, I totally want to add, like... I don't know, we need... I remember the biggest problem with, like, Extinction was air vehicles just dominated. There was, like, no counters to them at all. Here's the counter to that, alright? Don't put air vehicles on maps where they're OP. That's the counter. No, the counter is to make anti-air vehicles <laughs> and weapons. Like, I'll make the Wolverine again, or like, the Grizzly or something. I honestly want to make the Wolverine, because I, I really like that thing. It'd be perfect. Demon with and the $2. Covenant... Oh, you know what? Raise the water a tiny bit, it's almost non-existent. Oh. Yeah, no, I was reading a no, super chat. Okay, I was listening, man. My bad. I was going to say, um, we gotta make the anti-air wraith, like, actually anti-air. <laughs> that, well, I wanna... Okay, how about this? I don't want to, like, mess with the default anti-air wraith, because if people want a campaign-style anti-air wraith, they should be able to, you know, spawn it in. I don't want to take that away yeah, from some just people. Add another one then, I guess. We could call it, like, how SPV3 has, like, anti-personnel wraiths or something like that. Or anti-armor wraith or something, and just, like, make it, like, yeah, different. Yeah, Because I agree, anti-air wraith is not a very good anti-air vehicle at all, it's so stupid. Yeah. Kona with the Probably two. Thank you. To drive it. <laughs> More Wolverine. Best anti-air vehicle. Wolverine? I kind of forgot what the Wolverine is. I'll look that up in a second. Like, I know what it is. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. And Demon with the Fiver as well. Vehicle that locks onto air vehicles. One for the Covey, one for the UNSC. Ooh. What if we... We need to get a Halo Wars vehicle. Like, the one... What was it? The Kodiak? We need, like... That's, like, an artillery vehicle. Or sorry, not the Kodiak. Uh, what was the other one that was that we could like lock on with? It was like the missile the launcher. The, that's the Wolverine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was just talking about that. Yeah. That'd be cool I to would add the Wolverine. Totally back. make that again. It's just like the quality, even in Halo Wars 2, is pretty bad. Yeah, I might be able to touch it up. I mean, I don't know. The Condor looks pretty good. I, I feel like if we could get it to the fidelity that the, that I got the Condor to, then I would be pretty happy with it on the mod. Yeah, I remember the Reach when I actually like touched it up a lot. I could probably go and find that, but I didn't like the cockpit. I just like, I took the Falcon cockpit thing and just stuck it on there. Hmm. It didn't look terrible, but... No, I actually liked it a lot. It like, if you made it fit in with the art style and everything too, it was really cool. Oh, I forgot there's some Reach like base pieces and stuff. Hell it's yeah. It's so weird to see in Halo 3. I know. I can't wait to add more Reach stuff into this map though. It's going to be so good. Yeah. Ooh. Should you put the Pelican Bay inside the Condor for passengers? Yeah, I'm going to do a lot to the Condor model. It needs a lot of... I don't even have landing gear on the Condor. That's so landing disgusting. Gear. Gear. There's no landing gear. This is not a certified Condor model. Oh, that's a good idea. Someone said we should add a mountain. Not like the extinction mountain where it's just called like a, a literal mountain. Reason. Yeah, an actual mountain. Yeah, that would be cool. How about a volcano? <laughs> Ooh. You know what would be cool though is even at full speed the condor takes a minute to like cross. Let me see. I want to use the condor as like a distance measurement. So let's say you start here on one side of the map. There might be like a theoretically like if the condor was a worthwhile vehicle, you'd start here and then you boost. And then the edge of the map, you'd probably want it to be like a bit over here. So like pretty large, 
That way you could at least take like 10-15 seconds to cross the whole map. I don't think that's unreasonable. Yeah. This seems fine to me. Okay, cool. You should honestly get rid of the monitor flying sounds. I, for one, find them so annoying. Oh, we removed them in Arcbound because I hated them too. Yeah, yeah I need so to remove annoying. them. They're the worst. <laughs> People can't hear it on stream right now, and I can't either because I'm playing Halo music, but... <laughs> I can. God. I was just like... It's just annoying. Yeah, it's really high-pitched and awful. Um... Demon of Song with a two dollars. How about a kill plane? A ki oh, that's a good idea. Damn, that's actually a really good idea. Like a kill ball, but a giant cube, but like invisible giant cube. That is a fantastic idea. I'm definitely gonna do that. Okay, you know how I'm gonna add invisible walls, right? Yeah. Kill barriers too. Ooh, how would you do that though? It would have to be a clever use of damage effects. But they're only spheres. I don't know how you would really use them. I'm thinking about that. It would have to be like... So here's how I would do it. I would have it be... It wouldn't be able to be perfect, I don't think, because it can only be a sphere. But theoretically, yeah. right? I could make it a perfect cube. So it could be a cube mm. to kill Barry. And in the very center of that is a giant sphere of a damage. Barrier, but obviously the corners of that cube are cut off. So what I do is I'd put like a couple more spheres like lined up in the corners of it And mm -hmm. then like I would do my best to fill in the extra space kind of like a fractal But only going like a couple like one or two layers in To where like I most of the guess. space is filled up. It's not perfect, but it kind of works I don't know about that. Okay. I feel like there's probably a better solution somehow I feel like there should be a better solution, but I just don't know if there is I'll, I'll take a look at it. Uh, I want to do some hills and stuff though. This the terrain is way too flat right now. Like it's annoyingly yeah. flat. I'm gonna add some cliffs. Uh, like if we need something to section off the map. That way, like you can't be on one side of the map and instantly snipe somebody on the other. We need like some yeah changes I'm on, on the terrain. Terrain duty right now. You can do that. Yeah, I'm gonna delete the spawn trees and stuff. All that's left is the disclaimer. Why don't you delete the sign? <laughs> yeah. Just go delete the sign. Just delete the sign. <laughs> that's what you sound like right now, man. Yeah, it's what you sound like. Demon with the fiver, thank you. And Andrew, I already upscaled the gremlin textures. What did Andrew say? Uh, I don't see Andrew's message. Oh. Rat boss easter egg. Like I said, there's an easter egg on this map. Um, let me check my uh, supporter chat on Discord real fast. I want to see if anybody has seen uh, any bugs or anything. I don't know if anyone's posted in there. Let me just check it out real quick. No, nope, nothing yet. Well, I guess I'll throw this map out pretty soon. Make sure green can't spawn camp. Yeah, actually though, thank you for the two dollars. Even I actually will. When the Covenant super carrier base gets in, I'll make sure that it's like spawn camp proof with those shield doors. Um, cliff large. Damn it. There we go. I'm gonna have to like, I really want to change this terrain around and make it like super cool and clean. Just do whatever. <laughs> Spawning it in is what takes forever because it shoots you to the top of the map. Well, it shoots you to the top of the map. It just kills me. Okay, yeah, that's true. It just kills you. I mean, it still takes you a while then. Yeah, it does. It's <laughs> funny. A pain in the ass.
I'm gonna raise this up, right? The cliff piece kills me. <laughs> <laughs> did I miss your super chat, Andrew? Sorry. Um, oh, you're right. I did. Oh, I actually missed one of demons too. Sorry, I got so distracted. There's one big one. Let me see here. Demon with the two. You said, "How about a kill plane?" Oh, no, I did answer that. I just read that as, like, airplane. But, yeah, no, I definitely am going to add that if I can. And, Andrew, you said add the gremlin, the true no-fun-allowed vehicle. Oh, oh, God. I got to... Wait, the... What is the gremlin? Oh, that's, like, this... Um, I don't even know what it does. I know what it is, though. Like, what it looks like. I, f I think it's a support vehicle in Halo Wars 1. If I'm not mistaken. So it just like heals other units. So I don't really know how it would fit in. Other than just like a transport vehicle. Someone said it's the no fun allowed vehicle. Or Andrew said that. EMP vehicle. Oh, <laughs> that's, what it does. That's, that's actually yeah. the no fun vehicle. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. This will be really interesting. A large scale ground and aerial warfare map like this will really put to the test what's possible yet, here. Like this. Yeah. Man, I love being pushed under the map and dying. Yeah. So fun. <laughs> it's a really good time. I'm glad you also like it. I've been thoroughly enjoying it myself. <laughs> okay, we gotta clean up this terrain a little bit. Yeah, the free is just gonna be wedged in between two cliff pieces because I don't know how else to like fix it up. Try to make the map like somewhat enclosed. <sighs> this is kind of, it's gonna be a little bit tough. Someone else is gonna build a map far better than us anyway. Oh, I know we're we're gonna be like <laughs> totally outdone by actually like good forgers crap Our terrain is so messy. It's like actually bothering me like I know it could be so much better, but it's just it's so messy fine. It oh, looks fine to me. It's so messy. What the fuck? To you. Alright, let me double check on the super chance. I was in game for a second. Demon a song with the five dollars. Melon posted something on Discord that says, I'm not a drug lord. Stop saying that, chat. Well, now we know that Melon uh, is a drug lord. So thank you for bringing that to light. We can address him properly. And with another two missing super chats again. Wrong! Fake news, I just addressed that super chat. Good try though. I'm just better. Uh, and Andrew with the two as well, thank you. Toa Draqua. The free EMPs for everybody truck. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much fun that would be. <laughs> All right. We're gonna put down some more of those Cliff Enormouses. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, you're a bad cliff placer. What? Yeah, I, I'm yeah, just gonna say it. <laughs> you, you just copied and pasted them identically. I know. Don't care. Did it's you... good enough. <laughs> no, not for me. I'm, I'm, a I'm a man of culture, and my cliff placements are impeccable. Okay, we have like half the map built. I wonder how many objects we're actually gonna be able to place because we have quite a few ground pieces. I mean, you know what I'm tempted to do? Actually, maybe we should use the huge like floor pieces and just say fuck it. Because I can I improve know. the physics model I later. Guess. I guess so. I mean, this map's gonna break regardless. Yeah, true. So it's not like we need to put in our 
unlimited effort and everything. Let me see yeah. how big the ground huge is. People are probably going to get annoyed by it if we do a playtest on this map and like they're just running into invisible barriers over and over. But you know what? Yeah. Tough titties. They'll, they'll just learn the routes not to take. You know what I'm saying? Life finds a way. So. <laughs> Damn, he really did missing super chance. Fake news. You're literally been listening to uh, uh, the whole fake news is something, something. Yes, I don't know. Whatever the people say, the conspiracy theorists, I don't know if I know. You're deleting all my work. Yeah, you're disgusting, Terrain. <laughs> Wait, fan. don't delete the... Oh, man, you deleted the one. <laughs> oh, fuck. I can't believe I I've done this. I was going to say, don't delete the ones in the corners. My bad. Okay, well, I have to be careful about how I place this now, because it's so massive that it's going to like completely shape the terrain with just a single piece. Pretty much. Holy fuck. Yeah, we might, we might like have to mess around with the water a little bit. Yeah. Uh, if you want, feel free to move this around. I kind of just like slapped it over where things used to be. Okay, I was going to like push it up to this corner. Otherwise, I'll have to like fill it in. Oh. How did you like instantly rotate it like 90 degrees? I didn't rotate it. <laughs> oh, on my screen it's rotated now. Does it look like this on your screen? Uh, I have it in the ground too much. So I'd be like up here. That's pretty good. Then we could put like another one next to it. Like, uh, there's a bunch of stuff covered up now. <laughs> well, yeah, fuck. We probably should have done this from the beginning. At least I'm like, um, I'm gonna move this piece out of the way for now and delete all the stuff under here. Yeah, fair enough. I'll wait to place down the major piece and then once we have these down, we'll actually be able to do like the good, good stuff. Wait, I forgot I made snow and sand pieces a little while back. I should probably add those under the forge list soon so people can make snow and sand maps. Ooh. Okay. Uh, oh, still two more. Kona with the two dollars. Demon's a pretty cool drug lord, not gonna lie. Damn, Demon sells drugs? That's crazy. What a scandal. Scandal happening right before our eyes. Thank you for that too, Kona. Ooh. Yeah, that looks good enough. That's pretty good. I like that. This is a pretty cool little corner of the map. Now, however, we need to... I'm gonna... Here, you know what? I have an idea. Before we, like, change the height of the terrain and stuff, we should just place only a giant flat thing of these huge pieces. And yeah. then, after we've got them kind of placed down, then we... All, all four of them. <laughs> we don't need that many. Oh, we'll have to place four of them as too many. I as know. simply too many. Is the physics model better on the bottom? Like I don't know. I actually don't know. I'm gonna try. Try doing that, like, walk on it and stuff. I can't I tell, is, that, is that upside down or Boy. no? Yeah, this one's upside down. Voice of the Covenant. Oh, but the, you can clip inside of this. Maybe I was just moving too fast? I, huh? I, I can't clip know. inside of it. Oh, it's desynced. Oh, right. yeah. Let me, I'll start a new round. Hold on. Round <laughs> over. I'm just like floating. <laughs> just chilling out. Having a good, good old laugh. Oh my god. We spawned like right in this little like. Ooh, yeah. Thing. I should probably put some respawn points uh, elsewhere so we. <laughs> kind of lucky to get like soft <laughs> walk there and yeah. lose everything. That would have sucked. I'll add some in the frigate. Put like one way out here so we never get stuck. I'll delete it later. All right, let me move these around a little bit. Demon with the fiver. I am a jester. I do not have time for drugs. Wait, so is the bottom better? 
can't argue with that. I'm not a jester myself, so I can't really put any commentary oh, on no, that. It still has. It's probably about the same. It's literally just know, because it's, it's scaled up so high that all the imperfections yeah. show. Yeah. That's why I don't like using this piece, or it needs to be like fixed. Because you, like you, it's so big that I literally have to jump like over invisible barriers half the time I'm yeah. walking on it. I mean, people are probably gonna be in flying vehicles anyway. Yeah, or like ground vehicles, I can romp over it or have anti gravity. Yeah. Danger Cold Smith, good to see you. Hope you're doing Except good. Car. <laughs> and the police war hall. Um, but thank you for that fiver. Mr. Daedra Coldsmith. Could you make the monitor able to pass through map geo? That way you don't get killed every time you push to the floor when spawning. Yeah, I can, but unfortunately it still uh, forces me to respawn. Because uh, I, I did that on Arcbound, exactly what you described, because I thought it would fix it as well. But what I discovered was, even after applying that fix, um, it still respawns you. The only real fix is basically just to get a better forge distance uh, around... Yeah, like a better orbit, but unfortunately there is no value to edit in the mod tools to fix that and it looks like it's a little bit deeper I'm in the files that is There we go that should be all right Let's see and kind of with the two as well jester more like uh drugster <laughs> got him I'm not gonna lie, I kind of just absolutely wrecked and severely owned a demon just now. That was pretty savage. So savage. Let's well, see. if you heard, <laughs> if you heard that alarm through my mic or <laughs> not. Actually, I didn't. Oh, you didn't. I gotta get Can't be me for it. Damn. Okay. I, I just gotta get some laundry. I'll be right back. Alright, I'll just be here doing a little bit of building. Okay, not too shabby. I think I need to pull this up ever so slightly because the terrain's kind of weird and bumpy, but this is looking pretty decent. Terrain's a little funky. It's gonna be. Let's let's do a little test, right? Can we drive over this comfortably? We'll test it in the uh, in the police hog. Let's see how comfortably we can. Hey, that works pretty good. Although then it's like a huge dip all the way down here. Let's see, can we drive back up here? Does that have weird invisible barriers that makes it impossible? Actually pretty good. Not bad. Overall, the smoothness of this map is, is pretty impressive. I thought it was going to be worse than this. Yeah, not gonna lie. I really thought this was gonna be so much worse. Okay, cool. Oh, there's an invisible barrier. That one hurt. I really need to improve the physics model, but it's already so absurdly detailed. I'll just have to see what's possible, I guess. Floating police hog. Don't look at the fact that I'm floating slightly off the ground. It's a feature, not a bug. Well, yeah, basically most of the ground vehicles will float slightly off the ground because I scaled this piece up so big that its collision model is, like, imprecise now. <laughs> but it's worth it, because then you can... I'll make a better one eventually, but it's totally worth it, because when you look at this, it's like... Look how much ground was able to be placed with just, like, three objects. This is literally three pieces of grass. Floating pelican. I don't think there's a pelican around here, unless I'm blind. Okay, but I want to put some cliffs now. I think this is like where we need to raise up the map. I think it'd be... Because obviously we're going to have a similar frigate on the other side of the map, like over there somewhere. And it is very important that we have something in the middle of this map to stop people from doing dumb stuff. So let's do that real quick. Oh my god, I just had a big brain idea for what would be a really cool structure piece. Let me get to it in a second, because Demon hits with that fiver! Thank you, Demon. The best thing about being a Jester is that the Jester is the only one allowed to insult the king. So, hey, Rejected, you smell. Joke's on you. I don't even care, because I'm the king. <sighs> yeah. 
I smell good. <laughs> All right, let's put down a cliff. Medium, no, cliff huge. We'll put down a couple of cliff huges. Ah! Uh, and we're gonna spruce this place up a little bit. Just a, just a little, just a little bit. Spruce up just to jet. Make it look a little good. Alright, we'll drag this down here. Like so. Alright, that'll do. And then, get another one. Put it down here as well. Whoa. And I'm going to rotate it, flip it upside down, and put it... Where's the other one? It's over here. So this one should have the flat side facing out. Drop it there. Nice. Okay, so this will be kind of like a... A way to stop the enemies from seeing over. I'm going to put a couple more cliff huges just to kind of fill in the space a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just do your old news. It's all about drug lords now. Yeah, that's what the kids are saying. So I've been told anyway. Just a friendly reminder to everyone in chat says, AJ, like the stream. It helps plop this boy stream in more home feeds. That's true. If you want to uh, directly support me, but obviously you don't want to super chat or anything for whatever reason, a like helps me out as well, and it would be much appreciated. Much, much appreciated. Was the condor shown off on stream yet? It has been, and because I'm obsessed and I think the condor is insanely satisfying to fly, I'll spawn in one right now because it's very cool. There we go, the beautiful Condor. A lovely, lovely vehicle. I like to just take Condor breaks, you know? Just, just you need, need a little time. Need a little time to just fly slowly and then just BOOST! I'll be honest, the Condor actually looks surprisingly good on Ultimate Forge Worlds, or whatever this map is called now. I don't even remember anymore. It's uh, like the lighting and everything is kind of low and like a bit dark on this map. A little darker. Um, but the Condor looks pretty good, all things considered. It's a chunky fella. Yeah, that's for sure. Yum. All right, condor break over. We love the condor. We stand the condor. But it's time is ended. Now we can get back to making the map a little bit. In fact, a condor is just a thick pelican. Fixed your comment there, Enigma. Don't even mention it, I got you. Demon with the Fiver. I still suggest uh, Reclamation as the name, but that's just me. Well, I'll be honest, it's far from a bad name. My, di my dilemma is, do I give it a name that is like... How do I put it? Do I give it a name that's really catchy and like markety? Like Ultimate Forge, where people hear it and they're like... Oh, Ultimate Forge, that must be like some kind of crazy Forge mod. Or do I give it like a cool Bungie type name, like Reclamation? But then again, a Reclamation isn't really relevant to the map itself. Like, what's being reclaimed exactly? How does the name Reclamation, what does it mean exactly? It doesn't really mean anything. You know, it's like vaguely related to Reclaimer, or like what, what exactly is Reclamation? Why is the giant Forge sandbox called Reclamation? Couldn't tell you. We finally got a bot. I gotta kill it. Oh. Yo. Not the bot. It just, <laughs> it's back. It just got here. I gotta load up the stream. Damn it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay. Oh, you got a, another side of the map. 
Well, we're getting there. So I'm thinking this is a multi, multi-faceted, multi-tier map, right? Where it's like you have these cliffs, and then on one side, over here, right? Let me open this up a little bit. You can drive on out. Go around. It was a sign. Yeah. The sign. It's down here. You you can see the sign really. Yeah. If you come over where I am, it's like. Oh this, wait. Like, let me. I can't see it because it's desynced. You're literally in a block yeah, right now for what me. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> oh wait. This is this is slightly different. <laughs> You should have a pretty good time driving over. God, this map is huge already. Look how tiny that I hog know. is. Holy shit. No, the sign. It's covered. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it seems fine. I'm driving around. It'll be nice once we have some, like, trees and rocks all around the map, too. It'll be good. Yeah. But I want to open up the, uh, the side of the map like this. I think it'd be cool if there was, like, a large high up area here and uh, I think it would look cool. Gives you like multiple routes, multiple areas to fight in, you know? Mm. Hey, uh, this is gonna be a really fun like... Oh, there's an invisible wall right outside of the base. Oh, you love it. Maybe we should put like a smaller terrain piece there just to like fill it in. Maybe? I mean, I was able to get over it, but yeah. I mean, everyone's going to have to get over it, because it's just a fact of life now. Oh! Yeah. Demon with the fiver. Slagging. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me go up a little bit. Andrew Van Dulst with the two. Thank you very much. Thoughts on modding Jackrabbit, Cobra, and or Mastodon. So Jackrabbit Green actually already did in Reach, which means he has the files for it, and could probably do that in... Um, Three as well, pretty easily. It was very low quality, but we could probably up the quality too. So Jackrabbit, most likely. Um, and Demon with the five, or sorry, before I even get to that. Also, as far as the Cobra or Mastodon, I don't know. I would ask Green. I'll ask him in a second too. And Demon with the Fiver, it's the same amount of relevance as Arcbound and Extinction. Extinction, okay. Arcbound was not a great map name, gonna be honest. It was literally just because the map started on Snowbound and I themed it after the Arc and I was like, what about Arcbound? Extinction was the callback to an OG map, right? But you're right. It sounds similar to like how reclamation and everything is. Hey, what do you think about adding the jackrabbit back? You still have the the model of it Ooh. and everything, right? I could get it again. I could make that thing so much better. I literally I had warthog tires on it. In uh, that's Extinction. right. I forgot about that. I could add the real tires, but I'll have to like. <laughs> Honestly, probably remake the tires myself because they're really bad. Yeah, I remember. It was uh, not. That's great. why I used them. Actually, I could have used the normal ones, but I was like, nah, they're terrible. Can't uh, can't argue with that. If they're terrible. They're yeah, terrible. Yeah, totally. When I had that thing, it's just another like cool ground vehicle. More ground vehicles are better, in my I know, opinion. I'm tired of all the flying vehicles. <laughs> like, why did I add the vampire? I like the vampire. I don't care what you like. The vampire's sick. I want to get it like fully sinking and stuff though. That's literally an easy fix. It's like literally a checkbox. I hope so. No, it is. It's like stupid easy. It was just an accidental well, it was just weird oversight. That it was like not. It was firing when I was scoping in. That's why I'm kind of like something right. Uh, it's literally, I'm convinced it's literally because you were pressing the left trigger. Probably, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, yeah, filling in the gaps with these smaller pieces is a decent way to do things. Yeah, these trees make it look better too. Mm. 
Oh god, no. You know what, actually, that's not so bad. That's decent. Alright. Filling in the terrain slowly but surely. This is starting to look cool. Great Gigabyte with the fiver! Thank you! Halo 3 Forge Remastered. <laughs> the closest we'll get. Pretty much, this is uh, features from Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 5, and then of course we have vehicles from all over the franchise, plus all new things that we never before had, such as entire, you know, Forerunner bases like the Valhalla Tower, plus frigates, and soon we'll have a super carrier or an assault carrier with like a full inside to it that you can make a base in. All kinds of new stuff. This will be like a top tier Halo Forge experience. Although, frankly, limited by Halo 3 and no uh, snapping and stuff, but still. And Demon with the Fiverr as well. Didn't Green also make a Locust? Did you make a Locust? I did, I just never released it or anything. I want to redo it. Oh, yeah, no, you did make You literally had it in your map last night, I forgot. Yeah. It was showing me. This is so weird having, like, I've put the two half, pa like, base pieces together, and it's just so weird that this is in Halo 3. Yeah, it's cool, though. <laughs> I see it down there. I gotta go check it out in a second. And Modded Gamer 2000 with the $2. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Arc like World, to maybe. The locust. It's just hard. Cause That's actually pretty good. Is just, it's not perfect. I do kind of like that. There's no other way around it, really. Tribal bipeds are alright in 3 though. They don't really have any sinking issues or anything. Well, they kind of do. Like, if you if you press control to, like, jump no matter what, or not control, or yeah, it is control. To, like, jump no matter what. Even if you set it to zero, it'll, like, look weird. Um, and then... Really? There's that thing where if you spam keys on your keyboard, it'll instantly do a 180. I hate that. Oh yeah, that, out of that that is unfixable. Literally, un it's yeah. so stupid that it's unfixable, but it is what it is, I guess. Okay, this is decent. I think um, as far as these cliffs go, I'm just gonna keep placing them down. I think. This is an interesting idea, but I don't know how to execute it super well. You see kind of what I'm going for here with the whole shape of the map? Hold on, I haven't really looked over there. Uh, Ooh, oh, yeah, nice. yeah. Where it's basically, I mean, it's not rocket science. It's basically just like an alternate route around the map. Yeah. So there's these cliffs in the middle, and then on the other side, there's like the other team's base. Yeah, and the cliffs kind of like separate the map out a little. Okay, yeah. That's cool. What about this side? Is this like another pathway over here? Around? So I was tempted to either make it a pathway around, or alternatively, this pathway here that I have, I'm starting to build, instead it like it slowly goes up, and then it levels out on top of this area here. And then the other side also has a pathway that goes up and gets higher, and it like, and basically everything meets up. Does that yeah. make sense? That's so much work. That's not that bad. Just lost a couple ground huge pieces. Well, I'm making it science. detailed to be a lot. And other people probably want to play it, so you shouldn't go too crazy. Yeah, true. But still, we're going to be able to play test this, I hope. I'm going to keep a backup yeah. of this version that we're on right now, just in case somehow the map breaks and forge saves mm -hmm. don't work. I'm actually really confused why this broke. Because... Like, I tested it before. I didn't really change the forge palette or anything. It just all forge pieces stopped working for no apparent reason. Just because. I guess they were mad on strike or something. Who knows? Angry forge pieces. <laughs> <laughs> They're so mad. Whoa. Okay. This is kind of nice. We'll get the cliff sorted out here like that. Not too shabby. I want to do something with the hallway pieces, but I don't know what. <laughs> you could make like a I cave. I guess so. Yeah, what if the alternate path on this side was like the hallway? 
kind of going through. That would be cool. We should have enough pieces for it. Like, we really haven't used that many forage objects, I don't think. Yeah, I'll start building it. Let's see. Um, Xbox mods are not possible, unfortunately, at least right now. So people won't be able to play this. You'll have to be on PC to play this mod. But if you're on PC, nothing stopping you from using a controller like I am. Just plug yeah. it on in. Controller. Don't tell me you're forging <laughs> with a keyboard and mouse right now. I am. Ugh. Who are you? <laughs> Can't get away with that. How dare you? That's cool. Can you make a giant statue of your cat? I'm sorry, Fawn. I will not be able to make a giant statue of my cat because that will take me 15 years. What, just 3D scan your cat or whatever? <laughs> actually though, I could probably download an app and just scan her in <laughs> into a 3D model. That exactly. should actually exist Easy. now. Easy. Demon of Song with the $50! Huge! Holy shit! It's not every day we see the purplish, pink, reddish, magenta color in here with that huge 50 bomb. That is very generous. Thank you, Demon. That is ridiculous. Thank you so much. I must say I lose the bet now. My download speed for this map is sitting happily on two hours left. It's on Google Drive. Why is your download speed on two hours left? That doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. That's wild. Holy shit though, thank you Demon with that ginormous, enormous super chat. Appreciate that. Fucking 50 bombs out of nowhere. Hurts my heart. <laughs> I can't deal with that. But thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, regardless, uh, if you need me to re-upload it somewhere, if I don't know if it's just your download speed, but if it turns out Google Drive is like having issues or something right now, I don't mind re-uploading it because everybody just needs to be able to download this tonight. That was the goal. In fact, I'll need to upload it somewhere else, I think, too, just because I'm going to put it for download uh, for the rest of the server, which is pretty important. I'm calling BS. We see that color literally every stream demon contributes to. It's essentially all of them. Occasionally see it more than once. Yeah, it's, but you don't understand that there's a lot of small super chats that come in, so it's a very rare. It's like green spawning in this pink truck. Just quantity. And demon with the $10 as well. One, we don't see that every day. Ha, huh. okay, technically that's true. It's more of a saying. I didn't mean it literally, but you're right. And two, my internet sucks. How does your internet suck? And how is there a fucking bot in here? Piece of shit bot. Fuck a bot. No, the bot. Oh, you got it. I killed it. I destroyed the whole entire bot. It's gone. Gone! The whole bot. The whole bot. All right, here's how this is going to go. I'm going to have to raise up somehow this entire area here. How the fuck am I going to do this? It's going to be interesting. This is what the small cliffs are good for right here. You can patch in holes. Easy. It's so funny because it's like, I'm just like, oh, I'll patch up this tiny little hole in the side of the rock here. No biggie, you know? Just a tiny little quirky hole. Oh my god, the bots, they're in full effect. Okay, oh, guys, guys, yeah, listen, you don't need to spam bot in the chat. It's fine. I have eyes, all right? Oh, you got the bottom one. I got the top one. Or wait, is that the same bot? Never... It's the same bot. How is it not? I don't understand. It, it, How is it still? It simply doesn't care about the, like, chat cooldown. That's so weird. James Turner with the 10! James, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. I was literally about to ask you about the Mega Mantis, but it looks like that's what you're talking about. You said, nearly done with the Mega Mantis, currently dealing with some light mapping problems that I had to split the model up into pieces to create. So... Uh, of the effects and material breaks I wanted for the destruction. Ah, yeah. Good luck with that. Destruction is hard, but if you're already like taking care of it and breaking up materials and stuff, then you know what's good. You got it sorted out. 
Good to see. I'm really excited to see. I'm actually because I've been wanting to myself to like put it into Halo Three and uh, have it looking good and stuff. So I'm really genuinely curious to see how it looks. You should definitely send me some pics of it when it's done. There we go. Patch that hole up pretty good. Maybe one cliff medium just to fill in this tiny little area here. Yeah, that's nice. Look at that. Look at that. We got all kinds of cliff sizes for occasions like this. We love to see it. And it collapsed with the $2. Thank you. I need a burger. I need a burger, but you right. Hot single forge mods in your area. Mm. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. That's a bot I'd click on. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, brother. You know what? Maybe I should raise this up just a touch. Just a touch. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh my god, why is the game despawning me? Despawning you? What's yeah, I'm not it? even like in the ground or anything. It's just like, yeah, you're just gonna die. <laughs> Instantly you get respawned. <laughs> I don't know why. Directional Arrow says mods are greater than women. <laughs> Actually, factual. Eddie Halo Modder <laughs> knows that to be true already. Yeah, women <laughs> are temporary. Halo mods are forever. Yeah. <laughs> Please, I just want to grab this piece and not die. Is it too much to ask? It's far too much to ask. How fucking dare you even say that? I did it. Ah, I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. And I moved it too far. I wonder how many pieces we can place down on this map before it starts, like, shitting itself. I have no idea. Oh my god, I'm gonna need to put so many of these tunnel pieces. <laughs> this is so annoying. The map's actually just too big. It is. I can't even, like, make the tunnel piece, like, longer and, like, safe. And it's, like, so many vertices already. Hmm. Whatever, I'll just have this little section that goes out to like... Uh, I don't, you Wait, this map is actually too big. We're running out of space. Look at this. What do you mean? We, we're like literally running oh, out of space. Oh. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Turns out I, I, mean, I just gotta scale up the entire map one more time. What the fuck? Crazy. I thought that map was like far too large. I know. I'm literally this whole time like, ah, oh, nobody will ever fill up the entire map. Our first large scale map and we're like gonna hit the map boundaries. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? That ain't right. I'm, oh god. But to be fair, like, once we play on this we'll probably realize it's way too big. Yeah, probably. Just want I want Halo 4 tools so bad. Someone put in Chally, when are you gonna make all the Halo Wars 2 vehicles playable? Like I don't want to in Halo 3. Cause it's just not great for that. And Reach isn't great for that either. But Halo 4 will be amazing. Yeah, Reach you can't even do bipeds in multiplayer. Yeah, you can do giants though. Possibly. Possibly. Bear did say he was curious about getting giants to sink in multiplayer on Reach. Because, like, obvious, or like fixing the driver's seat issue it has. Yeah. If the map is too really big, cool. get a sniper rifle. <laughs> Mood. So this map is too big for even a sniper, though. <laughs> yeah, I actually think the sniper bullets will despawn before they hit their target 90% of the time. We need, like, a, a super sniper on this, kind of like how we had it on uh, Old School Extinction. The heavy sniper. Yeah. That was just a portable gauss cannon. Literally a portable gauss cannon. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, I committed suicide by going under the map. I did too. What a coincidence. We're so alike. That's so crazy. So quirky. <laughs> so quirky. He. <laughs> he. 
Can we even build another side of the map over here? Like, is there enough space? I'm starting to think there isn't, <laughs> to be honest. Maybe I need to, like, shrink down this middle area just so there is enough space. Because, like, it looks like it would be just cutting it. Like, and you know what? I don't even know. Let me spawn in a vehicle and see where the barrier is. Because, like, depending on where the map barrier is, is going to tell us. Yeah. It'll be pretty important. Let's see. Oh, the map barrier. I have it right now set like way up here or something. Yeah, map barrier is way the fuck up here. So uh, we have plenty of space. We'll just have to account for the fact that the, like the ground starts to raise up over here. Yeah. You ever just randomly despawn when placing ground huge as yes melon all the time? It's because you're inside of it and the game doesn't let you be inside of it for too long. This is crazy. This map is so big you can actually use a condor in it. What the fuck? That means it's too big. <laughs> like I'm look at this. This is ridiculous. If I, I fly like from it. here and I boost all the way. Still going. I'm now at the halfway point of the map. I'm at full speed right now. I'm now passing the halfway. Going to where the enemy base will be. Still not there. The enemy base will be about right here, and this is basically where their frigate will be. Holy shit, that's nuts. That's actually too ridiculous. Too big? What are you talking about? Too big. I don't even know what that means. Okay, how do I get this to look right here? I think I gotta... Where's ground large? Ground large is actually just way too small. What the fuck? I, okay, that rock has just gone forever, I guess. <laughs> what? Did we lose a rock somewhere? I don't know. I, I like rotated it and it's just gone, so. <laughs> Rip a rock. This is the worst. Trying to get these terrain pieces to work out. Uh-uh. Yeah. You should just make uh, one side of the map rainy and the other foggy or something. That could be kind of cool. That would be pretty funny. Map's so big, it just has separate weather systems. Minecraft biomes be like. Yeah, true. Mm. Okay, I think I'm making progress with this weird little ramp area. Shit. Melon, you said if you add snow and desert pieces, you know I'm just gonna make it all three in one map. Yeah, you know I already have snow and desert pieces made, right? I made them on stream not that long ago. They look pretty decent too. Okay, I should probably say, you know what uh, might be wise is to save this map. True. <laughs> it's a good idea. I'm gonna call it Canyon K. 
chaos and honor. But it's not the same map. <laughs> we'll have an actual canyon at chaos once the mod actually releases. Yeah. Yeah, let me see if I can drive up this or if like everything explodes violently when I try to. Actually, let me put some cliffs first. Oh, what's uh, my soundtrack at right now? Oh, that was literally the very end of the Halo 3 soundtrack video. I was actually on the last second of it and caught it like at an unbelievable time because I'm just that well, fucking good. got that good. copy strike. <laughs> Me, copy strike, never. I like how people call it copy strike. I know, just because of... Well, it was Alinity who did that, right? I don't even remember. I thought it was like PewDiePie who did it or something. Well, he was saying it to like as a joke, ironically, because I forget, it was yeah. some Twitch streamer. It was like, <laughs> can we sorry. copy strike this guy? It's like copyright oh, strike. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. It's really funny. Copy strike. Copy strike this guy. Somebody, somebody please copy strike this guy. Oh my god, you're building so much. Hell yeah. Like, I, I'm trying to connect this part of the map to that and I just like can't. It's oh my god, wait, possible. you're doing like, wait, let me see this area. This is cool. You've got like these whole 400 tunnels going on through here. You increase yes. the distance, you hold the dollar. No, I wish, James. It would be nice to be able to switch things. Whoa, you have like a whole side canyon thing here. Yeah. This is sick. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Got some campaign vibes when you're walking down there. Yeah. <laughs> this is dope. You know what, I can reduce the size of this top area by half. I think it's too big. You probably should. I still don't even know where the other team's base is going to be, to be honest. Like, if I just delete this, we can call it a day with that, you know? Yeah. I move these way back. I'll just place teleporters instead. It's easier. <laughs> no, because now your base... Well, okay, right, where is... Just gonna... It is going to be a pretty long area here. Like if that's yeah, for walking, the there. you need to place some mongooses down there. Help a brother out. We have vehicles all over the map. That's not a natural formation. Damn it. Oh, the, someone was saying in chat that if only Xbox players could play this, but sadly it needs all the specs of a computer to run it. That's not even true. Like... I bet you an Xbox One would run this just fine. Yeah, 100%. We're not really pushing any technical wizardry boundaries with this. This is all within the bounds. Like, you have to understand, even when we do stuff and mod it in and it looks like better than OG Halo 3, it's still running in the same limitations that the OG Halo 3 had. Everything's still low poly and stuff. We can get away with higher resolution textures, sure, but nothing but also, that the Xbox One can handle. running on 360. So, and the Xbox One is probably a lot better. Yeah, the like, Xbox... Didn't the 360 have, like, half a gigabyte of RAM, and then the Xbox One had, like... There's some... The before. original 360 had a half gig of RAM, yeah. The Slims had, like, one gig, and some of them had half a gig, depending on which one you got. Okay, I thought only the, um... The dev kits had one gig. Oh, they might. They might. I was thinking of the dev kits. Yeah. Okay, so now I can close this off, I think. Oh well, I'm gonna... God, I still have to build this thing all the way around there. <laughs> Wait, no, there's a problem here. You see this cliff I've built? Uh, I need to open I it up on this side now. Hold can on. Can you restart it? I'm, I think the whole map is desynced. I was actually about to as well. Yeah, no no problem. Let me do that. Round over. Also save it. <laughs> yeah, I was about to. <laughs> Let's do a quick little save real quick. No trouble there. 
Um, I need to make the ramp on the other side, and it might get in the way of your thingy here. What? <laughs> Unless, I guess I could continue the ramp on the same side. I wanted the ramp to be on the right side for each base, but I suppose it doesn't really matter what side they're on. You still don't even know where the other base is going to be. <laughs> like, well, I know, like, like generally where it's going to be. Kinda. Oh. Ah. Okay. Well, I guess if you're going to do like the small side thing on that half of the map, then I, I'm going to leave you to it. And on my side of the map, I'm just going to have the ramps going over here and it's just going to ramp on downwards. Okay. Yeah, that is okay, isn't it? Yeah. 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 There's not enough focus on MCC to make that happen anytime soon. They're mostly focused with infinite. That's true. The MCC team is pretty small now. Uh, I think most most of the people who were working on MCC for a while, uh, kind of, I think they've been probably. I don't quote me on this, but I'm fairly certain I heard that some of them got shifted off of MCC to infinite. I don't even know what to think of the MCC team anymore because I see people like square some adding sounds on their own in like two weeks without even having source code yeah so i don't really know what to think but anymore. to be fair he has some really good ideas for a solution but his fix right now is hacky and would and doesn't support but yeah like, he custom doesn't sound. have the source code and he doesn't have a way to like mass distribute it like a um like mcc oh, you got a fair point like if they just said yeah we're updating the mod tools to redo to like add in all the old sound tags and stuff like that's something they can do, but not really one person. Yeah. No, you're, you're not wrong. With the source code, I bet Square could probably take care of that pretty quick. So yeah, I'm not really sure what to think anymore. <laughs> oh, okay, you're gonna have the other base over there. Yeah, this. your entire side of the map's all yours. I'm just... Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm... Oh. <laughs> Ma oh, you know what's so scary is, uh... Now that... See, I was kind of like a giant cave underneath the map now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a bunch of mobs are gonna spawn down there now. I'll probably have to light it up <laughs> with some bunch torches. bunch of mobs. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this area's so messy. I hate how messy this zone is. It's actually oh, killing me. Let me out. <laughs> I'm stuck in this rock. You're trapped there forever, you little shit. Who the heck am I? What's happening? This terrain is so messy here. Ayo, what the fuck did I do to it? It's high. It's so bad. How did I make it this bad? Skill issue. No, I'm stuck under the map. Why does this keep happening to me? Oh. Demon of Song with the two dollars. Really Every like terrain piece has two the sides. Max amount of forge objects possible. I feel like we're not. I know. Close. I know this. The, the I made is huge, Demon. But How do you think pieces. I do not know this? Oh wait, did you deafen? I no, I just muted. I can still hear you. I'm only muting, uh, not deafening. Oh, okay. Demon sent in a super chat and said, Every terrain piece has two sides. Bruh. What? What do they mean by that? He's saying I'm stupid because I'm not using two sides. Okay. <laughs> Even though I literally am. Fiverr. Thanks for the fiverr. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, you can take your fibers and you can fuck right off green. All right, saying fiber. <laughs> Someone put that in chat the other day. No, like you put that in chat. Gold you green. put that in chat. All right, all right, yeah. Someone put it, and I thought it was funny, so I started putting it. <laughs> fiber, fiber. As you every day, every time I go, I see a fiber, and I go, "Hey, fiber!" You're like this guy saying so fiber. fiber. Let's, let's oh you. man, I ruined this cliff over here.
fiver. Did you hear that, guys? He said the fiver. It's funny. Mm, wrong fake news. <laughs> Wait, is that gonna be good? Can I build a map out of that? Yeah, I think that'll. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. However, I am gonna delete this piece. Oh my piece. god, I hate getting despawned. And this piece. <laughs> so Come annoying. back to this later. True. Spiders of the two. Thank you very much. Good to see a new new face around here in the, with the colors. No, no the terrain bot. pieces obviously have three sides. Oh, you're right. Got it. Not the got bot. It. Not the bot. I got it. I got it. Have you ever tried, like, contacting YouTube about that or something? Look, it's pretty much on me, honestly. The fact that uh, they are still here is just because I keep streaming without putting, like, the minimal effort into banning certain emojis. You can do that? Yeah. I, I know that you can do it on comments, Why? and I'm 99% <laughs> sure that you can do it with, uh... With the... the, 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 the I don't know if you can do it in chat. I'm pretty sure you can ban it. If you can ban it from comments and you can't ban it from chat, that would be ridiculous. It's YouTube, so... <laughs> True. You never know. You never know. What? You're blocking off the, the thing over here. This What's so sad. Oh, yeah. I don't actually know. I think I gotta pull this back more. Maybe I can pull it back more. Like so. And they kind of like line up. Maybe I don't even need this. Can't even tell that I have this piece rotated. Some inside of it. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Block. I unblocked it. Wait, what is what is this? Oh, what are you doing it. over here? Uh, it might be decent for you. No, it's just like. Wait, hold. On, let me re do this real quick. Start new round. Round. Over. Cause uh, it's like I'm trying to keep it symmetrical, and I think you may be um. Doing an oopsie poopsie with the symmetry. What? Is that what it's supposed to I look just... like? Uh, yeah. But it's this is gonna like be a... where their whole flat area is on the other side. You put like a mountain through the middle of it. Oh, okay. We'll just delete these two. I think it'll, yeah, it should still work if you just move it ever so slightly. Delete these. Oh, and I despawned. <laughs> Delete these two, and I despawned. <laughs> That's, uh, That's just what happens. <laughs> God, it would be so nice to actually just forge like a real person. It's so nice and sapient because you can place these pieces from any distance and move them around. Yeah. Uh. Oh my God, stop despawning me, please. <sighs> I wish I didn't start streaming so late today. I'm already yawning. Yeah, why'd you wake up or whatever at like five? Just living my best life. Partied too hard last night. <laughs> okay, I kind of see how the map is going to be. It's symmetrical because I'm totally a good map designer, I swear. Do I really need to fill this in with the fucking tiny ground pieces? I wonder if anyone's actually building any maps with the mod yet or if they're just messing around with stuff. I think Melon was because he said he was like getting despawned as well. Oh true, true true. Speaking of which, I actually need to I need to put this map out for everybody to download too. I can't just leave it in the uh, supporter tab. I've been just so, uh, so distracted. I want to fix the vampire and stuff first. True. It's kind of a big thing. It is to me anyway. No, I agree. There's <laughs> also some stuff I need to fix, and uh, later on in this stream, maybe what I'll do then is I'll like I'll you fix the vampire stuff. Well, I need someone to test it with. Yeah, I could definitely do that. Um, but also, Maybe I could probably find someone else to do it, but yeah. no, no, it's fine. Uh, 
Oh, what are we using for the other base? <laughs> like, uh, another frigate. Oh, really? Okay. That works. Yeah. Oh, we could put some water on this map too. I didn't even think about it. I don't know where we'd put it though. Get out a waterfall. Oh wait. All right, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got to recreate the waterfall from scratch. To be honest, it's like I don't know how it's so broken. <laughs> something I I have to do some like testing. I, I might be like the shaders, but what's weird is it's like a totally normal shader. There's nothing like special about it. It's just a yeah regular dot shader. I don't even know. It's weird. I'm just gonna have to start like placing boulders down, I think. To like fill in yeah. the weird terrain pieces. So that nobody has to notice that I screwed up and that it's I'm bad. <laughs> Easy. You notice a weird part of map geometry? You're just wrong. It was meant to be like that. For sure. Ender Slayer with the two. Thank you very much. Would love to see a World War One slash World War Two style map. Ooh, that would be so weird to see in Halo, but also would be pretty cool. You know, wait, was it Halo Three? Yeah, the map. The main campaign mission when you're in that hangar, it's based on World War II. If I'm not mistaken. It's literally like a World War II bunker. Because they say like, there's marine dialogue when you're there. They're like, oh yeah, this base is like, it's a super old uh, base from some 20th century war. Obviously implying it's like World War II. And that uh, World War II in the, that century is like, just some war a long time ago. Nobody remembers it. Was it 21st century war? I thought they said 20th century war. Huh. Maybe it wasn't a World War II bunker. I mean, that makes a lot more sense actually considering the tech in there. They said 20th century? Okay, maybe it was World War. OG Halo 3 had so many World War maps. Yeah, now that you mention it, they did. And like Reach did too. They had like all like the... This is where you're saying up for the base, right? Um, where is it on the other side? And the other side, it's actually like centered. So if you move it more to the side, like here, I'll move because oh, I. Okay. Like, where is it? it? Goes like here. Is this right? A little more actually. It's more like there, like that. Then yeah, we... that looks good. And I think. Might actually need to be moved back a little bit. Yeah, it needs to be moved back a little bit more too. This map is so fucking big, holy. Oh, no <laughs> oh my god. Like, boom. Is that better? Like a whole thingy. That's pretty close. I think it needs to be moved back slightly more in order to be correct, but it's already is starting it really to clip matter? into the wall. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Like this map's gonna break anyway. We're probably putting way too much into it. Yeah. Oh, it'll be fun though. This will be a, a good time. Mm-hmm. Oh, apparently there's cut dialogue on Crow's Nest where when they're talking about the. So I I was saying that's all you couldn't hear me, but we're talking about World War Two and Halo Three, and apparently there's cut dialogue when you're in Crow's Nest and they're like, base is built for some 20th century war. Apparently, cut dialogue says like it's World War Two. Know your history. Oh, what the heck? Because <laughs> it's obviously the year twenty five fifty two or whatever. Hmm. We're like, <laughs> World War What? <laughs> That's centuries ago. I don't know that shit. Yeah, That's pretty funny. That's crazy to think in the future people will just be like, World War. <laughs> Are you a nerd? World War, we're in the galaxy wars now. What are you talking about? Galaxies <laughs> battling for supremacy. 
Oh, let me let me restart a new round so everything's synced up again. Wow. Okay. We're getting close. We're getting close. The map is almost fully blocked out. Ooh. I should make some backup spawn points on this map that like respawn you really far away. So that way people Why? don't accidentally fuck their entire maps. Oh, that's what you mean. Because right, yeah, only spawn points are like down in the middle. Halo 2 cut sprinting because it caused imbalances. Yeah. Well, Halo 3, or sorry, Halo 2 didn't have maps built around sprinting. Whereas I think Halo like 5 did, where everything was just way bigger. Oh my god, I just cracked like every vertebrae in my back. That felt incredible. I actually heard that. <laughs> I literally did. <laughs> Can you make a map based on? Okay, okay. Please stop spamming. Hey, I listen. I'm gonna time you out if you spam the same message over and over. Can you That's make fucking a map rude. Based on new Halo series. Can you make a map based on? It? Yeah. Can you make a new map? Can you make a new map? Yeah, I could. I could. But now that you spammed it, I don't but want I to. Won't. You only see it one episode. Coffee time! Wait, wait, is the chair on this map or no? No, I cut the chair out of the map. You... why? Because only I get the epic gaming chair vehicle. It's exclusive I rejected shotgun eyes only content, alright? Wrong. Yeah, Wrong. It's fake everyone. news. It's fake news, because if you try to make it better, I'll just make mine better. There's mm. something you can do to stop me. Just saying. It's starting to look pretty good. Hold on, let me go. I'm gonna go sit uh, in a cool clickbaity position. I'm getting tired of Waller. building this map. I just want to play it already. I do too. We'll finish it. It'll be quick. We'll, we'll put some like vehicles down and some spawn points. And, like mm -hmm. we'll, we can start messing around with some vehicles while we're here in Forge too. Yeah. Wait, can the pelican be destroyed? Yeah, everything can. Ooh. Chair! 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 Can't even see the chair! I know, why'd you do that? Go fix it. <laughs> I'll come over there and fix it. <laughs> Y'all playing this tonight? Hell yeah, Vince. You want to come join in? It might be really late though, because we're gonna do some fixes. Um, so, actually, maybe maybe we'll I don't do it tomorrow. Think that fixes it might be too late. Take... Ooh. Okay. Well, I mean, I'd yeah, like to play it tonight. We, it's just I don't want people to feel like left out. Maybe we'll just do it anyway, though. Yeah, we could do it both nights, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> I don't see a problem with doing it both nights. Three four three hire this man. Why does he seem better at coding than the entire three four three team? Because we're not coding. We're at not all. even coding. <laughs> Don't even have to touch a line of code for this map. Don't have a single script on it. All right, all right. Check this out. Hold on. Here's the plan, right? So tonight, what we do is we build this map, then we update the mod, and then we publish the mod to the whole Discord server so everyone can play it, right? Or at least this build of it, this old version of it. Then, okay, after that, we, like, playtest this tonight. We get tonight. despawned because we spawned a rock in. That's, <laughs> that's what. No, we playtest this map tonight, and then, once we've playtested this map tonight, we can, like, make some fixes to it to make it more fun, and then do, like, an even bigger scale playtest tomorrow. We need other people to help us make maps. <laughs> True, we are not map builders at all. Not we need only that, need... but if we had like five people doing this, like it wouldn't take as long. You got a point there. You got a point there. How late y'all thinking? Oh my God, Probably like an game. hour. It's gonna be a bit the game late. Ate my rock again. Where'd it go? Uh, but we'll do another playtest tomorrow. I hate 
hate it when the game eats my rock. And fuck your rock! It's really uncool of the- OH MY GOD IT DESPAWNED ME AGAIN! Oh, it's back! It just didn't render in before. It's here. It's been here the whole time. The rock is back! Okay. Oh man, I was coming over there to stand on the condor while you were doing whatever you were doing. You were standing on the condor? Oh. I was going to. <laughs> nice, let's fucking go, baby. I could make a map for the playtest tomorrow if you all need it. Yeah. That would be dope. I want to, as many maps as we can get on here would be sick. There's all kinds of creative and fun things. We're doing like a big scale map, but people could also, you know, make lots of small scale maps and stuff too with all the different pieces. It'd be really interesting once we add tons more forge pieces to this map too. But, um. Can you, oh, never mind. I huh. was desyncing again. I can start a new round anyway if you want. Uh, probably should, anyway. I guess. No, the version we released tonight is going to be like a bug fixed one that'll be compatible. Yeah, the you can probably still play the version, but certain vehicles and things might be buggy for you because we'll patch like the vampire's weapons not working right and things like that. But thank you for that fiber, demon. Fiber. Fiber, fiber. Oh. He said the thing. No, wait, we can't see the chair. No chair? Alright, this is starting to look pretty good. I want to make sure I fill in any weird gaps and things that might be showing. Okay, here's one right here. Slam a boulder into this hole. That's what I Boulders say. Boulders fix everything. Boulders are really the best. Actually, I'm gonna use a cliff medium because I'm feeling kind of quirky. No, wait, Boulder will make it better. Feel more diversified, you know, the portfolio. Gotta keep it diverse. Okay, we just gotta put another piece of terrain there and then just surround this part. And there's an open part on the other side of the map, too. And BAM! You know. Remember always to diver diversify your forge portfolio. Is that I don't know what the fuck I was trying to say there. Oh, we're almost done. We just have to spam more cliffs down and you know despawn a couple times. Oh, That's what I was saying. so excited! It's happening! It's happening! Ooh, buggers! Buggers! Like on beer, beer, like on chunky. Uh, what did you say? To play this map with a friend or blah, 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 you need the mod. Yeah, everybody, if you want to play on this map, you have to have it downloaded because that is how computers work. If you do not have it, there is nothing in the Master Chief collection that will automatically download the map for you yet. That's the plan, though. One day, your friends won't even need to download anything. They'll just join I off hope. of you and it'll auto-download. We hope. I don't, I don't really trust their word on that anymore. Because they said they were, were never adding sound support, now they suddenly are. Well, I mean, isn't that a good thing? Shouldn't that give you more confidence that they said something would never happen and now it will happen? I don't know. Well, no, they said they were going to add it, and then they said they weren't going to, and now they are again. So I don't really trust anything they say. Yeah, fair point. I just hope. Did you say poggers? 
Poggers! Ugh. I'm gonna eat a corn dog, by the way. It's really delicious. Pretty neat. Well, I do think so. This is my gamer fuel. Alright, let me fill in. I'm gonna spend the time filling in the gaps if you're gonna do the rest of the clips. Then we can add the fun stuff. Like bases okay. and trees. Trees are so fun because <laughs> they don't kill you. Mmm. True and real. Uh-oh, bot. I got it. I got it. Literally just ban that, like, lip emoji. I know. If I ban the lip emoji, I'll never see a bot again. Exactly. That's what I got to do. Actually, now that I think about it, there's been different bots. There was, like, two streams where there were, like, these other bots that were, like, flooding chat like crazy and putting some, uh, not-so-good things. Like, honestly worse, though, than what these bots are putting. Yeah, fair. Do you remember that, or no? Oh, god, yeah, they, they said some gamer words. We had some bots come in, but it was, like, those weren't, like, bots trying to advertise shit. Those were, like, edgy Just teenagers spam. with, like, a bunch of like, access to too many accounts that they bought, like, on a darknet forum. Like or that. That, not even a dog, just like a hack for him. It's like, oh, I'm gonna say gamer words in random live stream chats on YouTube. Got got us real good. I had to turn on a a timer. Ooh, crazy. Yeah, it's kind of good that there's a. I don't even know how long the timer is. I don't like, what is it said to? Just ten seconds. Just oh, enough to stop bad. the spam bots. Yeah, that's good. Um. This is getting really annoying. I, I, I don't know if it's because we have too many things placed down, but on my end, I'll like place something and then it doesn't render in. And then like a couple minutes later, I'll be like, oh, it was there the whole time. Maybe it's just <laughs> lagging, do you think? Yeah, I don't know. That is weird though. Like, there could be a cliff here. Maybe. Who knows? You'll find out in a few minutes, though. Projected, are you going to make non-superpowered melee animations for unarmed combat? That could be cool. I don't have any plans for it right now, but... That'd be neat. Damn, yeah, I wish the Fix Hail 3's Forge did not make you fly across the map. True Abyss. Fucking true, dude. It's so annoying. We gotta do the superpower mod eventually. Oh. Will forklifts be in the game? Holy shit, I didn't add forklifts to the forge list. What am I doing? What? They're literally in my files. You sent me the forklift and I haven't added it. What the f What am I doing with my life? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll add the forklifts. I'm so mad. I literally added the civilian cars but not the forklifts. What the fuck? What the well, actual fuck? The car is kind of polished compared to the forklift. And the forklift is pretty polished. It has damage states. It kind of. It just, it basically, I need to like fix the animation when you're driving it. Okay, hold on. This is Also, this... we need sound support so I can add the backing up like beep, 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 beep. beep. We really need that. That's the most important thing. I mean, yeah, that's there's literally nothing more important than that. You're actually so right. Is okay, the forklift in the mod? Abyss, yeah, Green's forklift will be in the mod. I just, I'll put out the when I put out the version for everyone tonight, then Hannibal it'll be in. Forklift. <laughs> Hannibal <laughs> forklift. Let's fucking go. Right, this map's starting to come together. The terrain here is so bumpy. Why the? Bro, why the why the terrain so bumpy don't here? Care. <laughs> I literally Dude, don't care. I I care. This is bad. It's uggo. I just thought I finished the map. No, I'll let me let me just. Uh, what the fuck is going on? Why is it like this? We're gonna finish the map, but I'm gonna put some ground huges down. What? You just deleted the whole thing? Yeah, man, they were they were horrible. It was so messy. We have like two oh, ground oh, pieces I'm on the other side thing. of the map. Oh my god. I'm gonna go to the other base and I guess we need some cliffs here. I don't know why there aren't any.
police forklift. No. Oh, yeah. Actually, how, when are you adding the police forklift to variant? I've been waiting. Never. I, I refuse to do that. You refuse? But it's such an important, critical gameplay feature. I thought it's you were a, a good re modder. It's literally just a reskin. Wow, I, in here I was thinking you were a good modder. Shame on me. You lazy motherfucker, you spent all this time dragging these cliffs to the floor only to just leave you them at the same the rotations. No, you. Oh, oh. I was gonna say. No. I thought you were doing that's fine. No, that, that's on me. But you fucking spend like a year dragging them to the floor just to leave because, them like because that? Because they're terrible to work with. It's so easy. You just do a quick little rotation, let go, and back up. You're just on keyboard because you're press stinky. All on keyboard, and it's oh. Yeah, it's, well, see, bad. that's that sounds like a skill issue. Oh my god, I'm gonna start putting vehicles in. You know, we probably shouldn't do like UNSC versus. Uh, no, definitely not. Covenant we should just make it a mix because, of fun stuff. Yeah. UNSC versus Covenant is the worst. It has never yeah. been good. <laughs> Yeah. Don't care, I'm putting an albatross. Fuck yeah. Doesn't even have weapons, you just... Hopefully... I'm I need to give the albatross like... like a shit ton of health. Everything actually has 1000 HP right now. Ooh. Maybe I'll fix that actually before I put everything out, because 1000 HP is it's, it's not a lot for an albatross. Yeah. Yo, an elephant too? Gotta have that. Why the fuck? I doubt the elephant would move over like half of the invisible hills. I don't care, it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's some science right there. Gamer logic. I, I don't care if this doesn't make sense. I'm putting cars in the uh, frigate. Fair. Modded Gamer 2000 with the $2. Thank you. Thank you, Modded. Police forklift. With police rat bobblehead when? Uh, you're gonna have to ask Green. That is entirely on Green there. That's, that's his forte. When we, I'll put some, but I'm gonna also put cars around the map so in case you get like stranded. No, no mongooses, around. right? No high speed mongooses capable of traversing terrain. Only the shit tier, barely car. movable cars for this rugged terrain. I don't cars drive with no, no turning mongoose. radius. It doesn't have a turning radius, can't go over terrain. Basically is useless. Better add them I everywhere. Don't want to drive no mongoose, <laughs> crazy. Oh, Roger That's that. Boring. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, that gameplay-wise makes perfect sense. I don't know what I was thinking. Fuck! Yeah. Fuck! I just deleted the whole thing on accident. Because how how does the game let you delete an object you're not even holding? Oh yeah, I've had that happen. Like That's what? Really what, annoying. What, what? How did that make any fucking sense? It doesn't make any sense. You think do you think that Goss Hog would still be overpowered? Nah, Goss well yeah, considering like these vehicles uh, okay, are just, yeah, yeah would. I won't add Demon that. of Song with the Fiver, he'll, uh, green, just plug in a controller, I mean using a PS4 controller because that's all I got, but it I'm works. Like, kind of Dude, why don't you use your controller me? for Forge? I actually don't understand. You nah. Because it's controller, obviously. That's why. What? You're, you're, uh, what? <laughs> I don't like controller. Abyss, it's literally just Forge being bad. It's not even a sync thing. It's just always done that. I think... Can't you still yeah. do that in Reach, too? You can delete stuff you're not holding? Uh... Possibly... I don't remember. Maybe don't it's only really a Halo remember. 3 thing. It's just because Halo 3 Forge was, like... They were like, yeah, um, so we're gonna add this mode where you can place down crates and change where vehicles and weapons spawn. Pretty neat, huh? And then we're out here, like, just hijacking it. Like, yeah, you can actually build entire terrain structures. It just was not designed for this. Warthog civilian, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. Yeah, we need more vehicles, to be honest. What? <laughs> There's not enough. 
Yeah, we don't have enough banshees. A lot of these vehicles vampires, I've added and... are actually just transport. Like the the police warhog, the civilian one, the car, the truck. Those are just oh, yeah, those are all just for, for fun. Transport. Those aren't like actually yeah. gameplay vehicles. That's for your RP maps right there. Oh, does the pelican even have a gun on it? Not yet, no. Oh my god, that's another transport. Well, the pelican is gonna have a gun. It's gonna be like pretty cool. It has landing gear. Landing gear. I right, guess I'm seems... just gonna put a bunch of heretic banshees and vampires because those are the only custom vehicles that can deal damage at the moment. No, well, there's phantoms and spirits too, but the spirits I guess don't even have the hard <laughs> reticles. Like... And the phantom's gun is terrible. Hold on. Why is the frigate over here like higher up than the other one? Or am I just tripping? Does it really matter? <laughs> I guess it's not. Never mind. But well, this is nice. Hold on, I'm saving. I'm saving. I'm going to redo the round. We're starting a new round. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. no, no, no! Okay, okay. I'm ready. Okay. Round I'm ready. Over. How about you? Did somebody say... Landing gear! Landing no, gear. I didn't hear that. <sighs> this is crazy. We built like a whole ass map today. This, this is crazy. I know. This is actually pretty good. Like this is definitely showcasing what you can do for large scale maps. Like, like pretty nicely. I'm like hesitant to add the long sword on the map at all. I don't think this map needs a long sword. Yeah. <laughs> See, wait. We still need to add some trees and stuff over the rest of the map. I'll do that. But what are you adding over here? What's the hangar bay? Oh my god, there's just vehicle. You just spammed them <laughs> everywhere. This is, this is literally disgusting. I hate this. I hate everything about this. Dude, this is not what good map design. You literally, it looks like you just got bored and were like testing vehicles and left them around. I hate pretty much. <laughs> like, I don't mean to shit on you right now, but this is bad. <laughs> we need to do better. <laughs> they don't fit in the frigate. What do you want me to do? I mean, yeah, we can leave them out here, but like have some rhyme or reason to it. Maybe put a landing pad for some of them. You just threw them out here. <laughs> and like, why are there so many too? <laughs> like what? I don't know. We need a lot of vehicles. No, no, no. We need to like think this through a little more carefully. You literally just like put your you were like I like my vampire and you just like put it right in the middle of the map And then you were like and then you just started spamming shit around. That's literally what happened I here you were say that. <laughs> Yeah, weird that you thought of that. It's weird that that crossed your mind <laughs> I put the best vehicle in the middle Okay, can we like can we just do a quick reset on the vehicles here and just like have some rhyme and reason before we start placing them down? They're fine. <laughs> I wanna... Fine. Also, I don't know if we should use a phantom because I still need to fix its turret. It doesn't oh, even okay. have like a turret that shoots. It, there's just a weapon oh. attached to it. Okay, yeah, delete it. Um, actually, I would be. I would like to have phantoms though. Yeah, you know, let's... I'm deleting some of these. We're gonna bring them back after though. And we're not putting cargo trucks on the fucking map. We're, what, I, what do you mean? We're not putting the fucking cargo truck. Although I will say the elephant could be kind of funny. Yeah, you should leave that at least. And I definitely am cool with the vampire because we're going to fix that. Demon with the fiver done downloading. How fast do you think I can the make fiver. it? Up? The fiver! How fast do you think I can make it? Up? Uh, I'd say like there's no way you could possibly make a decent map faster than 30 minutes. It's, it's literally impossible. Okay, also, as much as I love my vehicles, there's no place for a police hog. Maybe yes, the gold there is. hog. Just have them. It doesn't matter if they belong in the map or not. They're just, it's a showcase map. Okay, that's true. That is true. We could have some fun with it. With, uh, I'm gonna need to touch up some of these vehicles tonight uh, for sure. Let's see. What do we? Maybe we should. Ha oh my god! We should put a long sword on the map, but have it be at the top center on like a landing pad because it's the OP oh, vehicle. <laughs> I'm hiding a truck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! Just put them at the base. Just put them like yeah, around. I put it on this like cliff over here. There's, just There's literally just a car. <laughs> There's just a civilian car in the corner of the map over here. Oh yeah, I forgot to <laughs> put that one there. <laughs> 
Yeah, Abyss, don't worry. There'll be a cargo truck. That's, that's fine. The Hornet. Oh, God, the Missile Hornet. My least favorite vehicle in the entire franchise. I, it's I, so OP. I only put one. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm fine with having the Goss Hog in this map. It would, like, limit air vehicles a lot. True. It would make the air vehicles actually have to work and not just, like, fly around and decimate everything. And a Scorpion, too, would be nice. So, okay. Two Light Hornets. Two Heretic Banshees. Okay, can we not spam cargo trucks into the back of the hangar, please? <laughs> There's one truck! And why are there car- Okay, I am cool with the cars, but like, imagine this, like you spawn in, okay? You're like, what am I gonna grab? There's only a cargo truck left, and you're just like, me. It's just all going yeah, on for too your long. Point? <laughs> your point? Oh, God. Is the inside of the frigate textured? Yes, um, but I screwed up the shading, so I need to fix it and re-import. The lighting's kind of weird, too. Yeah, I just gotta fix it. Oh, we should put a light in here. This will be red base. Ooh, Certified yeah. red base. You can tell because it's an obnoxiously bright red light. That looks fine. See, the problem with the map this big is, like, a ghost is gonna be so useless. <laughs> Yeah. So well, Ghost would still be fun. Banshee, is the Heretic Banshee just a normal Banshee? like Without a Banshee same? bomb. It it's like a Hornet Light. It has no Banshee bomb. I will drive it right now. I'm pretty sure it does. Oh, oh wait. I didn't remove it. Yeah. Uh, it's not supposed to have a Banshee bomb. I don't know fly this around. It's feeling it takes me to get over there. Oh my god, this map is huge. Yeah. It's too big. <laughs> <laughs> Far too big. It's taking me like. Well, this is gonna be so fun. That's why we shouldn't have small vehicles. These should be like only big vehicles here. Well, we don't have enough variety yet to like really. Let's see. Do that. I think regular warthogs are gonna suck. You're gonna want the civilian warthog because it's so fast. Okay, I am like at the enemy base now. Like it took that long to get over there. The civilian war dog's useless, but it gets you around quick. Oh god, the terrain is so ass. <laughs> we like slapped it together so fast. It's like actually Oh my god, I just hit an invisible wall so hard. What the fuck? Ah! Oh my goodness. Dude, this thing doesn't even care. <laughs> it out of the way. Terrain is just actually the worst. Yeah, but it's fun for driving that. This is like slightly faster. Oh, oh. I'm still going, I'm still going. Can't stop me, can't stop me, I'm crazy. I'm gonna make it into the blue base. I'm unstoppable. Woo! Wait, what the fuck? Excuse me. What? There's just a giant cliff outside of blue base that you can't get past. What? What are you talking about? You not see a massive cliff? Oh, that. I didn't place those. You did. <laughs> I left it. Hang on. We got to raise. I don't want to raise it up. Hold on. Maybe I'll lower the whole thing. Can we get away with that? What? Just raise. Okay. I guess so. No. <laughs> now this thing's sticking out. Put it back. Wait, what's sticking out? I'm moving everything down. Hold on. The base, you just gotta move it down. I think this is better. Kind of. A little bit. I think this map needs a Mac cannon on it. <laughs> this map would actually benefit from a Mac cannon. Like, I always ironically say, talk about the Mac cannon, but. Yeah. Not on the condor though, just one like on the ground. Like all I'm saying is I have to at least have a variant of the condor with a mag cannon. Yeah. <laughs> but I actually, no. I, can I can I just say, Halo 4 Pelican and the condor suck. I, the reason they suck is because they have fucking Spartan laser turrets. That's the worst. Dude, that's I, cool. I hate Spartan laser turrets. It's so ridiculous. It's just actually so ridiculous. I I just want machine gun turrets. Why the fuck do we? Sp 
When I flew the Halo 4 Pelican for the first time, I was like, wow. And it's like Spartan laser turret. Like, bro, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Who, who like, greenlit that? Who was like, let's put a fucking Spartan laser? Like, bro, excuse me. Fucking excuse me. I don't like him on the Pelican, but I'm fine with him on the Condor. <sighs> oh, we got two people talking about the Lich. Oh, Dude, we should port that thing. The Halo Lich would 4. be pretty sweet, honestly. We should port it. I'm just thinking that with Halo 3 shaders. Plus, we could... That's one of the vehicles where... I think it's so big that... Like, you know how in the longsword, like, the, the physics will, like, fly you around really badly? Yeah, I think you could fit the bounding thing inside of it pretty well. Yeah, I think with the Lich 2, what we could do is give it, like, Hornet physics so it's always standing straight, like, up and down how it is in Halo 4. And that'll also yeah. prevent people from, like, getting yeah, flown out. Is... Yeah, like the vampire. That'll prevent people from, like, flying the hell out of it, too, and getting launched out. Like, when I turn with the longsword. Yeah, okay. I really want to add the, like, I don't know, either the saber or the broadsword. But, I don't know, we need... What's the broadsword again? It's the thing in Halo 4. Oh. It's, like the, it's like the saber, but it's not... I just like the design of the saber more. I think a saber would be cooler. I would want to add both and make him, like, perform differently. Maybe one's faster, but has less health, something like that. Would be interesting. I mean, you know what? The more vehicles, the better, right? Like, what's... Kinda, oh, yeah. no, worst case scenario, we have to, like, chop off the wings and turn them into crate objects and put some markers down for fire and, like, oh, yeah. that's the end of the world. I'm actually so Kitty ready to do damage screaming. states. Kitty's literally screaming. You're ready to do damage states? Like, how? They're well, so boring. <laughs> they're boring. Well, the reason I didn't want to do them before is because I didn't fully understand them. Because I never... Because I hated the idea of them so much, I didn't even want to, like, delve into it. But now that I was messing around recently on stream with, uh, like, Warthog stuff, it, like, clicked. Like, how it's really straightforward. Like, it's extremely it simple. It makes sense. But it's really boring to, to, like, set up. That is true. I already have a pelican that's set up with damage states. I just didn't do it right, so it didn't work. Actually, yeah, wait a minute. I literally have a pelican with damage states that I could finish now. Why am I not Ooh, doing yeah. that? You need to add a gun on it. Oh, there's a lot I want to do with the pel. I really want to make the pelican like a great multiplayer vehicle. It's something yeah. that it like has been needed for so long. Even in um, Arcbound, the Pelican was not a great multiplayer vehicle. Needed a little bit of love. Yeah. Okay, let's put some trees down and uh, put some bases down and some vehicles, etc., etc. Flying this around. For okay, some I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it all. Oh, it's on fire! Oh. Ah, the vampire. You did such a good job of the vampire. This thing looks so sick. You good? <laughs> you good? On fire. I was trying to blow oh. it up like that. Oh, that's cool. You can fall out of it like how the Banshee does sometimes. That's really dope. Yeah, I didn't know you could, but I guess you can. Oh, nothing makes me happier when I talk about the Pelican and people in chat are like, Oh my god, Pelican! I love Pelican! Nothing makes me happier than seeing this thing blow up and split into <laughs> pieces because that took me a stupid amount of time to do. It is very cool. I will be very honest. That is pretty fucking sick. Okay, time to put some pine tree larges down. Everybody's favorite segment, pine tree large placement. I'll help out. I hate... This wouldn't even take as long if... You could somehow make it so you don't have to go and swap it to phase physics every time. That would be nice. Reach, I like, think, Reach remembers. Reach has a thing. Yeah. Reach has a lot of... Or I think you can switch it like per object or something. I, I don't really remember, but I just know that every piece is like already in phased. Which is really nice. Didn't know that was such a necessity until this game. Yeah, actually, though. Um, fuck. Now that I think about it, I really should do trees that are like in clusters and groups. Yeah, only placing. Them at a time is kind of it's, it's awful. If I just had like groups of trees, and they're really like low poly too, so it's not a big deal. 
I'm definitely yeah. gonna do like. I want to do some that are like pretty big too, like with a lot of trees in one. Yeah. AJ with the two, thank you. Appreciate you, bro. Please be saving this as you go. Oh, He's absolutely. And prank. He's got a point. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you, AJ. You right. You fucking right. Cause look out, like, this is the only problem I have with the trees, is like, yeah, it's great that we can place trees, but now it's like they're so sparse. Imagine if, like, I had a tree thing where it's like a flat plane of trees, but it's like 20 of them, right? Like, that would be so yeah, sick. Yeah, it's definitely needed. And it would be really easy to model them, too. Like, I'm gonna do as a test sometime, okay, I need to start writing down all these things that I need to, like, fix and add. Because all of them yeah. it would take, like, a small amount of time each. And I could probably, everything we've talked about today that needs fixing and adding could be done in a matter of, like, a day or two. And it would make a huge difference. It really would. Alright, not only do we need a lot of trees down, but also we need a lot of rocks placed down. And a crashed pelican. True, multiple crashed <laughs> pelicans even, I dare say. Oh, that reminds me, we should have crashed phantoms too. Those would be cool. Ooh, Had those yeah. in Arcbound, they were nice. Crash the Lich? Question mark? How about a working Lich? That'd be sick. Yeah. Hey, I'm just saying, if there's like some vehicle you want to work on next, that'd be sick. The Lich is a pretty good, uh, pretty good one. Oh, I wonder if hell? it has any damage regions or anything in Halo 4. No, it does blow up, at least. That one campaign mission? Oh yeah, so there's at least that. Okay, that should be good. Just kind of patching up some holes here and there. And the map is done, right? <laughs> 100%. So vehicles into this one. Which I already put the most important one in there. Well, we got to make them symmetrical. So whatever you add to one side, make sure you add to the other. Yeah. Oh, then that means I got to add the base. Over here, too, I guess. Yeah, or like something equivalent to it. Nope, there's really nothing else. <laughs> now we add rain effects, obviously. No, we uh, can't. I wish I the effects, I need to fix them. I really want to fix the effects for the next part, because it's going to be lame if people like place down effects and they only show up in Forge. Yeah. Like, look, <laughs> yeah, I could yeah. place down fog here. Cat, where are you even? You're not even around. Like, look Why at that. We could have low-lying fog in this area. Like, that would yeah, be so looks sick. Yeah, cool. You're just like, oh, what's this? Oh, a little foggy area. And then, like, you go up, and the fog is only down here. And then up here, it's nice and sunny. Like, that's so nice. I've been scrolling through the forge menu, and I just can't find... Oh, there it is. I was trying to find the half face thing. It's like, it's not in here. It <laughs> exists. Look at that. I like that. Fog in the low-lying areas? Like, hell yeah. That looks cool. If only I could add rain to this map somehow. It doesn't need rain. <laughs> it doesn't need rain, but I like how the rain looks. It's cool, it's cool. Just water, chill. <laughs> it's just water. Fog is kind of nice, though. It's uh, we should. I want to add more atmospheric effects like That's that. That's also just water. Yeah, I like water, bruh. Oh, you found it finally. This is. <laughs> you finally found it. <laughs> you didn't even get rid of it. <laughs> fuck it. Honestly, just fuck it. <laughs> Oh, 
That was cool. Pelicans like in the ground. Vibing out. Random cylinder base here. I too will add a crashed pelican. What, on the other side? Oh, there's already yeah. one. Now there's two, bitch. I'm unstoppable. I'm like a force of nature. What does I'm the crazy. bug effect even look like? I don't think I've seen this one. It's extremely subtle and basically useless. You should make it not subtle and really in your face. Oh, I see it though. You have to get really close. I also Yo, forgot wait. what it looks like. Halo 3 rat effect? Oh, yeah, there's the bugs. They're very small. Halo 3 rat effect? Yeah. Sounds like a great idea. Just the model of the rat. Put in a gaming chair on the map as an Easter egg. There, I could. There is an Easter egg on this map. So whenever this goes out, like tonight, who knows? Maybe you'll see it. Do the fog effects stack? Yeah, they do. They'll get thicker and thicker as you place more and more. I would not recommend placing too many though, or else it would be very hard to see. Okay, this is a very barren uh, side of the map. Like, I actually feel like things are filled in pretty good on the other side of the map. Like, you never really, like, there's always kind of something around that you can see. Yeah. Well, anyway, we need to fill in this side to, of the map. I know how to fill in the map. Just needs a car. Oh my god. Please stop placing dumbass vehicles everywhere. You spawn like 10 of them. I died. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. <laughs> There's like a car like flipped upside down. I think down. I'm dealing with a child right now. Like there's a reason I don't have children. <laughs> like, oh, let's make a cool map for the playtest. You're like, but what if I add but what five if there cars? There's a car in funny spot. <laughs> <laughs> like the upside down one on the cylinder base. How? Why wouldn't you want that? Stop. What the actual <laughs> fuck are you doing? I want I some really sense to, to this add. map. I guess I can add a rock or something. <laughs> yeah, add some rocks. Rocks look good. I got it. I'll add a soccer ball. Bruh. <laughs> How about a dinghy? Can you make the two sides of the vehicles match? Actually, let's take a second yeah. to decide what, like, because we can come back and, like, make this look cooler. I'll save two. But, like, mm. what vehicles? Let's go back to the other side where there's, like, all a bunch of shit. I think I had, like, two of the Light Hornets, one of the normal ones. Uh, uh, Vampire. And then there's, like, some Warhogs and two Banshees and two Heretic Banshees. So this is decent, right? Banshee. So basically Hornet. only flying vehicles. <laughs> Because any land-based vehicle will be a nightmare on this map. Kinda true, but we should still add some, like uh, the scorpion. I want. We could place that just right out here outside the ramp. Oh yeah. Place like a, sure. a wraith would be kind of useless, so I don't really want a wraith. Dude, I, there's so many things I want to add. Like I want to add the grizzly, but make it like actually like kind of overpowered because it's slow. But it needs to be like actually tanky and do a lot of damage. Mm. That makes sense. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like this is like a BTB heavies mod, but it's BTB heavier. <laughs> I don't know. No, you, that's pretty true. Like yeah. the scorpion is like weak in this mod, <laughs> really weak. I don't feel like it should be weak. It should be able to kind of own stuff. I, but it, I just. It's gonna be weak against like a lot of stuff. I feel like we have too many flying vehicles. We don't need this many flying vehicles. More. And why don't we have a? Why do I feel like we barely have any fun ones? Like we could be adding in what? What could we do? We could have like a phantom, we a have spirit. The car. What more do you want? Like why don't we well, have a spirit on the map? I, I don't know, we had the spear, but I added in the pelican, you said the gun wasn't finished or something? Oh, the pelican, yeah, doesn't have uh, weapons yet, so the pelican's kind of useless, but we could add a spirit. Phantom, too. Phantom, the spirit's the only one that has weapons that actually make sense, that work. Yeah. You Unfortunately. the battering ram? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. None of these vehicles are balanced. What about the that's condor? Right. Only one person can drive it, though. Condor is also in the same boat as the Pelican. It doesn't have weapons. It's cool, but it doesn't do anything. Yeah. 
In fact, it's even more useless than the Pelican because it doesn't have any back seats right now. Yeah. The Spirit's pretty uh, good, though. It's got a working we turret. We have the Albatross somewhere. The Albatross is perfect as is. Literally, it doesn't have weapons. It's literally just it's get just, a bunch of your homies in the back and fly. <laughs> you can literally put a tank in the back. Yeah. Like, oh, you want to take a Scorpion to the other side of the map? Load that shit up in the Albatross. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Easy. Simple. I'll leave it like that, right? Spirit yeah, over here. Uh, all that, should we add a long sword in the middle of the map or no? Fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> we should put it on like a... God, wait, the long sword's huge. How are we even going to like fit it on somewhere? Like, it's actually enormous. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's this 8x8 eight eight platform thing. We'll have to put like multiple 8x8s eight together, I think. Are you sure? Urdu Kalili, thank you very much for that too. Could you uh, say the Scorp machine gun to the driver? Oh, I see what you're saying. You put it. Um, I'm probably gonna leave it to be passenger. I like how it is in Halo Three. For now, I mean, it fits for the most part. It's fine. It doesn't look so bad. Demon a song with a two. Thank you. Demon. Does the spirit the have extra seats? Not currently, but I can add them pretty easily. It has all the markers for them. I just haven't taken the time to do it yet. Yet, keyword. There's a lot of these vehicles need fixing up. They're not ready for their prime time yet, but they're getting there. Slowly but surely. Yeah, I definitely want to do a vehicle pass on a lot of this stuff. Wait, let's see. Somebody just said, uh, is the map large enough to justify space pickles or nukes? Obviously, Space Pickles don't have damage yet, but I want to get in the Longsword. Let me save real quick. I feel like it's definitely good enough. I feel, yeah, the nukes should be reasonable here. Let's see. Oh, wait, should we add the Short Sword, actually? It's we not really done, but... It could be good. Hold on, let's see. I don't know. Boom. Oh my god, that's bigger than I thought. <laughs> okay. I thought it was gonna be like tiny in this thing. I mean, it's, it blows up like almost an entire side of the map. Oh my god, yeah, that's pretty cool though. I, mean, I think we just need it for the meme. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I want it, I want it. Uh, Eugene Lee with a two, you missed my dono. Oh shit, I'm sorry, Eugene. I'm so sorry about that. Let me, let me check it out. I did! Oh my god, apologies. Thank you for that fiver, I appreciate it, Eugene. Yeah, it might be worth adding center base for control, and so don't have to walk across the map to respawn. More options for gameplay. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking with the longsword, but maybe you're, I think you've got a better idea than just like slapping something there. You kind of have a fair point. Okay, I think we should have a center base. I just got a one in chat named Eugene made a fair point, which is like we should have like respawn points and stuff up here. Mm -hmm. That way, like, people can not always have to come back they from, like, the frigate. Yeah. <laughs> they well, can't camp the base. Yeah, yeah, and also so that way people, you know, can, like, sometimes they don't have to come from the frigate all the way back out into the map. Sometimes they're just there. Yeah. So, like, maybe... We gotta have... Oh, my God, big brain idea, okay? Uh-huh. Wait, that wouldn't really work now, would it? Damn it. I wish I used my original idea and had the ramp going on opposite sides. Cause then we could have done like a mini yeah. like blood gulch in the center where there's like a base on either side but that won't yeah. work like this so i suppose what we could do ooh, this is cool i have an idea This is gonna be a good idea. We're, I can still do that actually, and still make that work. I think. Okay. <laughs> you do that. I don't I know what I you're doing. Um, I'm making center bases so that way, uh, you know. Yeah, not... I know. I, I'm just trying to remember which vehicles are on the other end of the map. <laughs> Demon, thank you for the $5 US currency super chat within the chat just now. 
spawning in Halo 3 is nigh impossible to figure out. It just doesn't ever work quite as good as you want it to, is what I've learned. But there will always be like some kinds of issues with it. But uh, I'm just going to try real quick to do like a little base, right? A little Blood Gulch base. And then... Um, Wait, are there teleporters on the map? Like, do they... Yeah, there's they teleporters. There, I think I put them we on the scenery palette. Add... We should add some... I'm not really sure where. Oh, wait. Maybe I don't have teleporters on the map. I think I forgot to add them back onto the scenery palette. I can just slap them back in there, though. That's no trouble. Okay. And it'll just replace the Covenant Bomb, but since we haven't placed any of those, it doesn't even matter. Not replace, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I think it needs to be like at this height. Yeah, that looks about right. There we go. Okay, Blood Gulch bases are coming together. Oh my god, you know when you're like flying as the monitor and you're moving fast? How it sounds kind of like whiz by you, pitch and stuff. It's like, zoom. I'm like hardly moving, and I hear the like spirit engine. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds weird as hell. Did you know that the grizzly has a fifth tread? It's got like a butt tread. Wait, what? <laughs> it literally does. There's three treads in the back. It's like in the middle. It's a butt tread. Pretty epic. How it manages to turn with that, I don't know. <laughs> it just does. Butt tread, butt tread. Oh, what the fuck? Skill issue. Okay, I think I mirrored all the vehicles. I hope. I don't know. Let me go check. Uh. Saving map. Okay, but now do you think that the vehicles as you have them are going to be good. And is there anything, like, is there anything that would be like a quick fix that I could add that would make any of the vehicles we don't have work that you can think of, like, for example, uh, Pelican or Add a gun Phantom. on the Pelican, I don't know. There's nothing quick you can do right now. Yeah. Oh, I might oh be able God, to fix what? the Phantom. This is so desync for me. I'll re uh, reload in a sec. <laughs> You see me just floating here? Oh my god, that's like really decent. You're floating like mid-air. This thing's crooked for me. It's like half sticking in the ground. It's like rotated weird. I promise you it is perfect on my screen. Oh no, I think you just messed it up that way. <laughs> yeah, I it's fucked like it up dumb. real bad. It looks really dumb on my head. Alright, saving. And new round. Wow. Okay, the longsword idea might need to be scrapped, to be honest. No, the bot! It's back. KILL IT! I can't even see it actually, Can shit. Can you view a list of hidden people on your channel? Or band, whatever. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about streams, I can I, check it out though and try and see. I just want to know how many bots we've banned. So many, dude. Literally, like, so fucking many. Like, I would actually say at least 50. At least. Probably, probably like 100. I don't know. Honestly, that really wouldn't surprise me at all. Wait, you're deleting the long sword entirely? I'm going to put it all the way back here, if anything. Okay. Um, should I add Goss Warhogs on both sides and give them, like, a high respawn timer? 
Um, that'd be kind of cool. I feel like it would actually be like balanced, kinda. Yeah, we we should have Goss Warthogs. It'll counter out all of the people doing all insane shit and, and the vampires stuff. and stuff. Yeah, exactly. I have a three minute spawn timer, so it should be fine. Possibly. <laughs> I don't know if you really need to worry too much about the Goss Hogs, honestly. I know that they are OP. Dude, but... I thought that was a bot in chat. It's not. It's. I think that's an actual person. Someone's actually typing that. They're, they're... You see what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, time to kill them. In chat, obviously. That actually, now that I think about it, one of the other like bot attack things are just like so and so is streaming right now. It's like spamming that like crazy. One way to get a terrible reputation on YouTube. Yeah. I'm going to go into other people's chats and advertise myself. Genius. Nobody will be bothered by this. <laughs> oh my god. I literally didn't even select that. Oh, kill me. You ruined everything. <laughs> Oh, it's crooked for me. Oh, sucks to suck. Skill oh, issue. Man. Skill issue. Get fucked. Get fucked. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just. I'm just standing here. What the fuck? You're like flying <laughs> in the air. That's such bad desync. Alright, this area here should be big enough to support like a whole ass longsword. Let me add a little bit more to it and then we should be good. It's so desync though, my end. Like, not even one of the pieces are touching each other. <laughs> what the fuck? That's not good. Oh well. The 343 you know what issue. This map could really use. What? A parking garage. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you didn't. I, uh, for some reason, I thought you were gonna remove the cam doggy comment. Sorry, cam doggy. Oh, not I sorry. You didn't. Goodbye. No, it's fine. I advertise my parking garage almost daily, and I respect that. There we go. Oh, never mind. I lied. Ah, eh, fuck it. That's good enough. I'm still standing here. <laughs> Hold on, let me put the uh, longsword there so it looks really fucking weird for you. Oh man, I, it's, not even, it's not even gonna happen. Set that respawn timer at three minutes, please. Yeah, absolutely I will. Okay, the longsword has a home base now. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? It's like trying to be where it is on your end and like, also not <laughs> yeah, really I mean, bad. Fix it up. Oh yeah, I can't actually drive the long sword. I have to fix yeah, that. I need to add new markers for it. Oh, there's a way. There's like a really specific spot you oh, have to stand wait. in. I'm gonna do spawn points real quick, at least in the frigates. Yeah, definitely. And feel free to add some on the bases on either Crap. side in the center too. <laughs> is defenders red or blue? <laughs> defenders I think is blue. No, I think it's red. It's the first one. I know, but I. Uh... Someone in chat has to know. Does anyone in chat know? In Halo 3 Forge, is Defenders red or blue team? Am I playing with Green Knight? Yes, yes, I am. Oh, wait. Do you have that odious T Banshee? Yeah, it's in... Oh, is it on the Forge list? I have it... It's not on the Forge list, but... Ah, oh, the ODST bench is I, so it nice. It might just be something interesting to add, I don't know. Nobody... I don't think too many people will notice a huge difference, but it feels so much better to fly the ODST Dude, bench. Dude, <laughs> Defender is red. Red is attack. <laughs> <laughs> Red defend. Wasn't blue defend? Nobody knows! Nobody knows! Everyone's giving conflicting answers! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know which one. Oh, let's just say Defender's red team, and if anyone, if we're wrong, we'll just change the light color. Deal? I'm pretty sure Defender's is red. I'm pretty sure it is. 
Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, that's so funny. Nobody knows. Everyone's just guessing. <laughs> well, why would they not just put red and blue? Why does it say defenders? Because they're dumb and stupid. Wait, is there a fog thing over here? Yeah, on both sides. There's like fog coming into the frigate. <laughs> like, what the heck? That's real foggy in here. Hey, where the hell is the light? Okay, I'm gonna have eight spawn points. No. My no, brother in Christ, we need 16 spawn points total. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I mean, um, we need some in the frigate and some not in the frigate. <laughs> Red is one of them. <laughs> it's fucking true. That's pretty true. He is right. <laughs> I'll have five spawns in the frigate, probably five more up there. Cool, 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 cool. Like every other team, it's like defenders, attackers, yellow, green, <laughs> like, <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it doesn't even say that. Red is attackers it's and like blues. Just... Okay, you know, you know what, actually, somebody said red is attackers, blues defending, and it like sparked a memory that I have. That made me so mad, like early on in modding. The first team on the list, defenders, is blue team. And that's why I got so mad. I remember specifically the anger okay. left a mark in my memory. It, the so the order it goes blues. blue, red, then green. Because okay, for whatever yeah. reason, defenders comes first, and that's fucking blue team. It's so stupid, but I'm certain of this. Okay, I'll, I'll set them to attack you, <laughs> Okay, if I recall correctly, yes, you can change the direction of the fog effect by rotating the object. So now the fog is going into both frigates, which looks cooler and more cinematic. Cinematic. Pyramid. Pyramid. Okay, I got five spawns in the attackers <laughs> frigate. Oh, yeah. Red I is know. defend. I know it is. Are you sure? That doesn't make any sense. I feel like red is defenders. <laughs> it would make sense in the order of things, but... Yeah, it's like weird. And why the fuck would red be defenders? Red is obviously attackers every time. I know, oh, that's even a thing, but... <laughs> I don't know! I don't know anymore! I'm so confused! Ah! Demon, thank you for the two. Check Discord bot, comma. What? Oh shit, Demon's actually making a whole ass map and has like tons of water and stuff in it too. It looks pretty cool. Fuck, we should have added water to the map. We're so stupid. Eh, I don't really care. Water <laughs> looks neat though. TF2 rules really is care. blue attack. Okay, well that's pretty fair. Team <laughs> Okay. Uh, that's a good way to decide which one is it in Team Fortress 2. Yeah, that's pretty. that's a pretty good point. Oh, uh, I had a ramp there. Yeah, let me. Okay, w what's her final decision? I set the red team spawns to attacker. Yeah, set them to defender. That's her final. Switch them. Set you gotta to switch them. Yeah, there's no way. Oh my god. <laughs> I I don't know. Or you know what? Fuck it. Right. What. We don't, there's no way to know, right? There's literally no way to know. So we already have All it set, just say fuck it. Yeah, but there's literally no way to make the right choice here, so we just have to guess. That's a, that's the best thing we can do. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We made a decision and we're gonna stick to it. Jesus Christ, that's about two ramps on this. The desync, oh my God. Holy shit, that's a really bad. Why would you rotate it like that? What are you talking about? Is. Boom, double ramp. We got the technology. I don't think this one needs ramps. Now the grass is like inside. Yeah, it doesn't need shit. Can you walk into this? Yeah, no. Wait, what the fuck? Ooh, it's not perfect. <laughs> no, it's, it's literally perfect. What the fuck? I don't know. It doesn't look perfect. Does the longsword have a nuke? Yes, Dylan, the longsword has a nuke, and it is very powerful. 
Please don't nuke me. Please don't nuke me. Do it in the distance so I, I can actually see it. I can't even get in. I can't even get in it. <laughs> There's a way, isn't there? There's like a specific no, spot you have to assembly. stand in. No, you did it the other day without assembly. I remember. Well, it shouldn't be this hard. <laughs> well, agreed. But that's just because I... Are you certain that the marker thing works where, like, the entry marker has to be separate from yeah, the driving marker? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, the vampire actually works perfectly. Yeah, but the vampire's small. It's small enough to where you'd never notice. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just set that entry radius to the long sword to, like, three. <laughs> that's the solution. Actually, though, yeah. And fix some oh of the Oh, my God, the plot! <sighs> Fucking bot. I'm gonna. Oh, let me save the map real quick. You know, I just realized the bots are using different emojis in each message. <laughs> well, their technology is too advanced. We'll never be able to stop them. Okay, we have to remove these trees. <laughs> They're fine. All right, this time we're gonna have a nuke blue base. Destructible trees. Yeah, I'm just like vibing on here. <laughs> Oh my god. I cannot wait to redo the long sword of nuke effects. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> See you later, nerd. I'm out. I need a better camera track for the long sword. It literally like consumes the entire screen. You can't even see it. Nuclear bomb has gone off. Reminds you of the Fallout 3 nuke effect? That's cool. I guess that's a compliment. I like the Fallout 3 nuke effect. Ow, hey, bitch three. teeth. Wait, I killed you? How? I take damage. I was meleeing the outside of it, you died in like two hits. <laughs> well, it's still alive. Longsword hasn't blown up yet. Can't get in it still. That's so true. Wait, you can't get in it? Oh yeah, right. So you're a nerd. I forgot about that. Yeah. Wait, we should probably put weapon spawns down, huh? We don't need no weapons. We'll just set it to Fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, yeah, we worked on this easier. map for so long. There's no way we're going to be able to host a playtest now. It's too late. Yeah. That's okay, though. It gives us time to work on, like, polishing things, at I least. I don't want to work on the map anymore. No, no, I don't mean the map. I mean the mod. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this so is badass. I'm going to... I am, too. Let's... Uh, maybe we'll come back to it later. I'm going to do a double save, just in case. Canyon Chaos 2. Be too big. Wait, big. Okay. So this is a cool map. The only thing that really would be nice is some invisible barriers. It would be cool too if we had like omega huge walls to like block things up. That would be kind of dope. You mean wedge infinite? <laughs> yeah, we need a wedge. Wedge long is not long. I'm going to get that wedge infinite. Oh, <laughs> uh, people with the fake bot things. Yeah, gotcha, huh? Hot dog slash hot cat. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> so it's the same guy who put bot. He's yeah. Let me let me let me ban you from chat real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna move Probably these trees out of the way. I see like an emoji in chat. And I'm like, it's a bot. <laughs> The bots are back! <laughs> Your PTSD is triggered. Andrew Van Dolst with the 10! Thank you, that's a very generous super chat. I appreciate that. Good to see you again as well. Uh, how would you implement a player-usable Jackal Shield? SPV3 has idle Spec Ops Jackal Shields as a weapon slot that absorbs and deflects all frontal damage besides explosives and MPs, and deals two times melee damage. So you could essentially do that the same way in this, because jackal shields do count as physical objects when you're holding them. So you could just have the shield in your hand, and if somebody shot you and instead shot the jackal, or the jackal shield, then you know it's going to absorb the damage instead. So in, basically, if you just, I did this in Halo Reach, actually. If you just hold the jackal shield and you have it as a weapon, then, it basically 
it covers that part of your body and actually absorbs the damage, which is pretty sick. Um, and then you could, of course, add a two times melee damage effect because you can choose what damage effect plays when you melee with any specific, uh, any particular weapon. Obviously, with like swords and things doing more damage. So, yeah, exactly like that. You could do that really easily because the jackal shield just already works out of the box oh, like oh, that. In your area. <laughs> Uh, Alright, I mean, this is pretty sick. Uh, and I move these trees it's out of the way. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta replace the longsword, but I think I wanna go back and like work on the mod and shit rather than be forging all this time. I know. This is a cool map, so though. The forging. Same. Same, same. I, I really do like the map, though. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, the fake bot things are... <laughs> are you getting so it, triggered? Like, bot! <laughs> Why is the longsword, like, being weird? Oh, I know why, never mind. There we go, longsword, good enough. Good enough. Oh wait, you wanna debug the vampire real quick? Uh, I'm like 99% sure I already know how to fix it, to be honest. Oh, it's not always just set it to... You set it to like the, the continuous, continuous firing thingy, and then also you make sure that all the vehicles on it have multiplayer object properties. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know if all the vehicles on it have those. Oh, they love modding singles uh, in your area. <laughs> You're actually, talking about they, me. They do, <laughs> they do have multiplayer object properties, so it's just a weapon. <laughs> the sexiest grunts in your area. <laughs> <laughs> The actual bots are going to come into the chat we're not going to even realize it. Yeah, the prediction type is already set to continuous. For everything? Well, for the side guns it is, and I think probably the head turret as well. That's odd. Yeah, it's, you don't always set it to continuous, I'm pretty sure. No, you don't. It's got to be accurate for whatever you're doing. I don't even know what they mean. I just do it until it works. <laughs> that is one way to do it. Because it doesn't even make sense every time. Uh... Let's, let me get a feel for this. Okay, let's say I spawn in here. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. We got to roll out Marines. Sheesh. Hop into a Hornet. I'm out of here. Look at the chat right now. <laughs> I literally, I, I can't look at the chat. I literally cannot look at the chat. Everyone is pretending to be a bot. There's no conversation. <laughs> Nothing of value is being added by anybody right now. Uh, yeah, both of the weapons are set to continuous, so. Oh, damn, I didn't even remember this. Abyss, actually, I forgot about putting the AA gun in the mod. Yeah, it's the AA okay. gun needs a shit ton of work still, though. It's really bad right now. I don't think the Hornet Light has side seats, by the way. Doesn't? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Why? <laughs> oh, it does. does. Okay. Woo! I think a ramp going to the highest point of the map, there could be a launch site for the longsword. I thought about that, but uh, I don't know. Uh, among us imposters, click stop, like. Stop, stop feeding them. <laughs> stop, do not respond to them. You're feeding them. We haven't had any valuable comments or insights in the chat in weeks now. Everyone's just been talking about emojis and hot mods in their area and single stalwart class frigates in your area looking for love. People in the chat, insane. <laughs> Someone said. <laughs> Yeah, I can't imagine, like, just joining into the stream and seeing people do that, like... Yeah, like, actually, people join in, and they're like, wow, Rejected has no spam filters on his stream, that's so weird. Our gaming chairs in your area. <laughs> oh, look what you did. <laughs> it's funny. I do like the fog, though. That's pretty cool. It's kind of cool to be like... I need to get that fixed, otherwise it won't even show up in-game, but it's kind of neat. Yeah. I gotta figure out how the juicy effect appears, but my stuff doesn't. 
Andrew Van Dols with the five dollar super chat. Thank you very much, Andrew. I probably should make the Jackal Shield an armor ability, like Halo Four's Hard Light Shield, but put a JS Jackal Shield weapon in the player's hands, like SPV 3s sword. See, my question is like, is that even possible in Halo Three to have it be like a weapon? Because I actually don't know if it is. My, like with with map scripting, anything like that's possible, but. You know, that's not like a multiplayer compatible thing. Uh, it would be fun. You know, I want to do. I want the jackal shield as a weapon. I actually want that. Dude, what if we got the jackal shield as a weapon, but it's like a dual wieldable weapon, so that you put it up, you pick it up in your left hand, and it has like an animation for it. I was reading what that guy said. Um, I don't think it's possible to like make it so you pick up the jackal shield and it actually like will protect you. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately. Because things you pick up just don't even like have collision or physics or anything. It's just gone. Oh wait, hold on. Enjoy the ride. I just realized these effects need to be pushed back more. Something that's kind of like funny though is, um, I don't know if you knew this, but the hard light shield. You can like swap the model like to whatever you want. So like I I was like messing around. I swapped it to like a wraith, and when you swap it to like you know the shield kind of like will like enlarge and like shrink. Yeah, it goes like, like, like out. yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you set it to like a wraith, it does that as well. <laughs> <laughs> so a giant wraith just goes whoom and appears on your arm. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? We should delete the spawn point out here. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, we both spawn there, and those are set to uh, attack over here. Yeah, so that means that we were wrong. Oh, no, attack, or, no, these are, yeah, these are set to attack, or defender is red. Yep, we gotta switch them now. Make sure we don't miss any. Oh. Yep, they're all good. How many is that? Is that eight? That's one, two, three, four, five. five. I haven't added any more. Okay, let me go to the other side. Do we have some on the other side? No, I haven't done those yet. Okay, I'll I want to add quick. some up here, but like, there's no vehicles or anything up here. We got, we got to add stuff up there. Side. Make them actually good bases. <sighs> I can't do Could it. Add, um, I can't eight take spawn points. Anymore. It's literally so easy. Xerxes, thank you for the two dollars. Jackal shields plus sword oh, equals badass. True, 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 true. That'd be really nice. I think the jackal shield would be a really good dual wieldable weapon. And Andrew vandals with another two. Thank you, Andrew. Dual wield jackal shields plus explosion on hit equals sundowner. Isn't that a destiny thing? I don't really remember. I'll have to look at that. Demon with the two dollars. Why didn't you just switch the lights? Because we are committed. All right, we are committed to this layout. And it is important for our memorization that we know specifically what side is what, and we already have it in the spawn points now. Determine things. The, the territory is already claimed by each team. Alright, oh, you're setting those? Okay, badass. Um, I'm gonna go mess around with these bases up here. We should add eight spawn points uh, in the bases up top here, and the bases down below in the frigates. Okay. Um, do you know the spawn points work in the elephant? Are they actually just, like, slapped on there? Like, you just place them on there and they move with it? They're supposed... No, they they only work on sand trap on the elephants that are placed by the map. They don't work on the forage elephants. Oh, really? Yeah, it's really lame. I want to add a lich where, like, you can spawn in it. That'd be so cool. It should work, but it doesn't because... reasons. That sucks. Okay, I've added need one more spawn in here. Okay, I got eight on the blue team. Okay, I've got four down on the blue team base. I'm gonna the rest in the red team frigate.
Luckily for uncolored plasma pistols, does not even me. <laughs> I don't know, but it's so hot and spicy, I can't not think about it. <laughs> okay, I got eight in each of the frigates now. Oh wait, did I set these right? I did, okay. Whew. The emoji spam is making me uncomfortable. Andrew, Same. with another two! Do those hornets have C.E. Pelican livery? C.E. Pelican livery? Best. I don't know what that means. I feel like that should be simple, but I, I don't know what that means. Could you explain, please? Okay, you know what? Six spawn points up here is enough, I think. Two up top. Uh, I feel like no one's gonna even wanna spawn up here. <laughs> well, if we add like vehicles and stuff, it won't be so bad. Yeah, actually, we really should just put teleporters in the bases that go to the frigate. Uh, yeah, but like receivers. No, because then people could take it to instantly spawn camp. That's a bad idea. It should only take you from the frigate out here. I guess. Because you can't restrict it to only certain teams. Yeah. Library equals skin. Uh, it does not have a CE skin. It's actually the Hornet. The... Uh, whatchamacallit. It's the Snow Hornet from the DLC map. Which does look pretty cool, to be honest. Very snow. Oh my god, it's some of the stuff in chat now. <laughs> <laughs> Pelican below two inches? Yeah, Extend so your awesome. bird with condor pills. God that's damn it. <laughs> We've been trying to reach you about your long swords extended warranty. <laughs> oh. Okay, bases have spawn points. Now we just gotta give them some vehicles and they'll be worthwhile. Bam. They need lots and lots of cargo trucks. I think you should, right. uh... <laughs> right? I think you should, uh... Time to, it's time for you to go. Uh, do you have a caretaker? <laughs> do you have somebody who can uh, look after you? Oh, what? We both put banshees. I'm just copying you. It's a good idea, though. Oh, okay. But Halo 2 has in coagulation, I think. Condor just... Bam! Whoa! Right there. We should put some ghosts down. No, ghosts would be kind of useless, huh? They don't really do They're anything. They're really, really useless, yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll put something better down. What's like... We don't really have any self-sufficient good things that you can just drop down. Like, warthogs require multiple people. We can put some warthogs down, though. Ooh, what if we put warthogs and scorpions down? That would probably be fun. I think in one of the like Halo like mobile games, um, there's a warthog where the driver controls the turret on the back. The mobile? Should... That would be so easy to add, and like I feel like we should. That'd be cool, but then it would like I don't know. That's a whole team aspect of Halo that's important is that you need people in your hog. Yeah, I guess so. Uh... Well, we are not desyncing in Forge, or, and I mean, things aren't disappearing in Forge, which means I don't think we're anywhere close to the limit. I think we're actually still really good on objects, but we'll only, yeah. we'll have to wait until we're in-game with tons of players and weapons and grenades all over the floor to find out. But this is good. Each base has a scorpion, a hog, and a banshee. There's a long sword and to fight car. over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. Let's put the fucking cars no, in. I only put one car. Just you gotta balance place. it. Each side needs a car. You can't just not have a car on both sides. I guess so. <laughs> Where? <laughs> uh, that's for you to decide. Just make sure it's balanced. Okay. You know, the cars are too powerful. You don't want too many cars, but... I guess so. Jance Vaughn with the uh, 10! Jance, good to see you. Good to see you, and thank you for that very generous super chat. 
An idea for a game mode using the Condor Pelican gunship from Halo Wars 2, Lich, and other big air vehicles. A flying map that has floating islands like the movie Avatar. They have team gunship battles. Okay, that would be pretty sick, gonna be honest. I would actually really like to see that. I think, I was talking to Infinite Forges about, we did a stream, me, Green, and Infinite Forges did a stream recently. Well, it was like a month ago now, but he basically had that concept, but he wanted to build it in uh, in Halo Infinite because you could like grapple around the islands, very similar to what you were describing. So that would be really cool. And I, now that you're right, uh, with the Condor finished and like getting an actual Lich, imagine that. Like, because you can build, it doesn't even have to be on this map necessarily, but you could like theoretically build really high up here to the point where like you could do that too. Damn, look how big this map is now. That's insane. That is actually so insane. <coughs> it's over. Halo. We did it. I got the car stuck. Wait, don't look. <laughs> I wasn't hiding You're a car You're making a fool here. of yourself. You're making an absolute <laughs> fool of yourself. I wasn't hiding a car in here. What are you talking about? Demon with $2. Thank you. He said, map with no weapons placed down done. I blame Green. Yeah, I blame him entirely. What? Yeah, because uh, you're what? getting tired out. You're getting all tuckered out. Kind of true. Uh, I'm stuck in this thing again. <laughs> I can't get out. <laughs> they put me in jail. <laughs> I can't believe you. We don't need weapons. We'll just play Fiesta like I said earlier. Of course. A simple solution, really. We're just spawning. Holy shit, this, one, this is a bad area. Look how high it floats off the ground here. That's not great. Eh. Why should we just have super precise physics models? It's pain. Demon with another two. I did it. Y'all want to see? What? What? The map already done? The hell? They modded a map in? Modded a whole map. Let's, let's save. Hold on. You know what we should do? I want to have like... Save it and go to his map? Yeah. Let's save and let's save and yep. Boom. Over. Wait, let's load this up. Actually, no. You know what? If we load it up and for some reason nothing loads, I I don't want to cry on stream, so we'll do it uh, another time. I don't want to cry on stream. Yeah, I just can't have that happen. Jans Vaughn with the Fiverr as well. Also, I feel like you would love the Pelican gunship bro, from Halo I, Wars 2. If you haven't seen it already, it like, looks pretty dogs, cool, honestly. Yeah, bro, I have not seen it. Put, I'll take a look at like, it. Hold on, I'll look at dude, it right now. Done it like 10 times, Are they, what are they trying to bait us? Like, what? <laughs> They're trying to get me to, like, ban him. <laughs> it's like, why do you want me to ban you from chat? <laughs> What's the Pelican gunship in Halo Wars? Oh, it's like a Pelican with, like, two, like, Miniguns on the side, I want to say. Oh, wow, yeah. I'm looking at a picture of it right now. It literally just has, like, multiple... It's like a Halo 2 Phantom, basically. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's sick. So it's got, like, guns coming out, like, the back and the sides. Like, the, that's really dope. Yeah. It'd be really fun to get people in a Pelican like that. Just remove all cargo capabilities and make it only a gunship. Pretty easy to do, I think. Well, it'd take some time to do it, yeah. It, would, it wouldn't be too hard. Andrew Van Dolst with the two. Thank you. Okay, if I DM'd the Sundowner I mentioned earlier, hey, DM me whatever. Can't promise I'll always show it on stream, but you can DM me whatever. I don't care. I, I. What are we doing? At um, you. my brain's melting because I'm so tired. I'm tired too. <laughs> oh, the sundowner is a Metal Gear thing. I'll look at that later. That's cool though. For some reason, it sounded like Destiny. Not like a Destiny weapon, to be honest. Oh, well, let me go to my server. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, wait. Melon's making a map. Interesting. It's got. 
uh, the frigate. It's got the fog effect. Ooh. Got, like trucks and stuff on it. <laughs> yeah, it's got the trucks. It's got the weird. trucks. Yeah, that's right, Melon. I see you typing. Yo, the trucks are on the frigate, like on top of. Hell it. yeah. Well, here's what we should do: is anybody who's working on maps right now should definitely host some games tomorrow because I want to do some games with this, and also. That includes you, Demon. I want to play on your map, but then uh, I'm going to, I want to work on the actual mod tonight and, and tomorrow I should have like a very fixed and, and touched up version of it out. And then all of you in chat watching, be sure to join the Discord server, link in the description. And uh, tomorrow, I think tomorrow, if everything goes to plan, I will have the uh, map, the mod available for download. And you can just throw it in your maps folder and play it. Easy as that. Know, something funny. You have like some random Discord link when your server can literally, like your invite can literally be discord.gg slash rejected shotgun. Is it not? You don't, it should already be no, that. I swear I said it to not, that like not long ago. Nah. What? I mean in the description you just have some random Oh link. yeah, that's because it's always, I should fix that, you're right. <laughs> okay. I think... Since I've been streaming for four hours and it's really late and I got a late start, I think we should probably end stream now and then do all the map related stuff uh, like later and tomorrow. Because goddamn, it is late and I am exhausted. Yeah, the, bots, the bots are kind of crazy today. Yeah, the bots are wild. We can't even get chatters in here because the bots are so damn crazy. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> There's such dumb shit posts. I love it. I Bro, I want to see his trigger. math though. <laughs> Urdu, if you want to see Demon's math, you're going to have to wait till tomorrow. Look at those. Yeah, that's right. Tune back in tomorrow to see his math. You're getting baited right now into watching the next stream. Ooh, ooh. You see this happening right now? This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Look at the one that the. the I saw No, I saw it. made me love Bees Trigger. Yeah. Burger to mouth, bees trigger. <laughs> so stupid. A demon as well with the two though, as long as it doesn't break the maps. It sh definitely should not break the maps. Like I'm in as a city of as a situation as you are if the map breaks. And I'm going to take steps to ensure that to the best of my abilities, the map will not break. So everything should be A-OK, -okay, just fine. We just did all that map for no reason. <laughs> I refuse. If if for whatever reason it, the like and it won't happen because we're not going to be touching the pallets of at, at anything. But if somehow like by some witchcraft it broke, I would literally say fuck the update. We're just going to play on this version because I just this is the version that works with yeah. all of our maps. So worst case that happens. Anyway though, um, I'm going to deafen for a second. Green, I'm going to go end streams or anything you want to say before I end it. Um, Hi. Alright, and subscribe to Green's channel. Uh, Hello. Green Knight on YouTube. He makes Halo mods, if you didn't know that already. He's the vampire guy. Yeah. I post on my Twitter more. Just saying. <laughs> True. Alright. I'm gonna go end it. Alright. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen. We've been here for a long time. We've made some cool stuff today, mostly just a forge map, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless. There's gonna be a ton of fixes. You guys got to see Green's Vampire today, which was sick as hell. You got to see all the civilian vehicles and the hogs and everything on Ultimate Forge. I'm gonna be fixing up Ultimate Forge and tomorrow, you, that's right, you will be able to play Ultimate Forge. If you're on my Discord server, there'll be a link where I will be hosting to the downloads if that interests you. Stay tuned for the stream tomorrow. Be part of the Discord server and uh, follow me on Twitter just because, you know, because you could. I mean, really, that's crazy. This is crazy. You can follow me. Anyway, though, thank you guys so much for the very generous super chats today. Thank you very much for the ridiculous things you've been typing. Yes, even you shit posters with your bees triggers and your... Five easy steps to subscribe to Green Knight. And there's Green Knight's link to his Twitter as well. You can click it right there. And you can also just click on his name in YouTube if you want. Anyway, that's all the final sign-offs. I hope you all tune in for the stream tomorrow. I hope you're on the Discord server so you can get the link if you want to play this. If you're a PCC, that PCMCC player. That's it. Have a wonderful night, everybody. And I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.